Good morning and uh, I guess good evening. If you guys can hear me, let's get a wheat wheat in the comment section. Uh, obviously there's a delay, so I just have to casually wait for everyone to catch up on this. I can multi-stream right now, so multi-stream, hold up my multi-pass. I can see you guys in YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So I'm gonna say uh, hello to Juna Facecape. Martina, how are you? I am awake. Hello to uh, Bol Bolielli, Elizabeth the Elf. We've got Charlix, who's got an oink oink in the house. Otami Shiamai says we we. Sounds okay, everybody. Sound levels are all right. Hopefully it's okay. We got a wheat wheat. We got a wheat wheat from Star Killer Alert 01. We got a wheat wheat from Not AJ Lee. We got a wheat wheat from the 13th hour. Okay, so it looks like it, it is coming along okay. Uh, people were asking how long I'm live streaming for. It's gonna be like at least over an hour. So I got the I got the morning light uh, rushing on in to the right of me, surely to blow out one side of my face. Um, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Sounds good, everyone. That's the only problem with uh, live streams, right? It's like that slight delay. We we okay, good. Now I do see comments coming in from Twitch, and I'm hoping that I'm also seeing comments coming in from YouTube as well. I think so. Hopefully. Yeah. Yep. The music is a tiny bit loud compared to your voice. Well, I'm going to be getting out of the screen in a second. Um, so good evening and good morning, everyone. We've got uh, Yobi, who's in uh, Ontario. We have uh, people who are coming in from Oregon, or as I always say, Oregonogon, because I can never say it properly. This is an interesting time in the world because some of you are living in the 15th and some of us are living in the 16th. Hello from Toronto, from Shorty Day. Okay, I'm gonna uh, get into the, the world of Animal Crossing here. Here we go, the magical. Bam, bam. Welcome, I'm so tiny and cute. So we have got uh, Montreal in the house, we've got Cali, we have Australia, we've got Naren6 says, oh my god, hi, this is my first time catching you on Twitch, hello! We have got, uh, Mali Dalla says, good night for me, it's 1am already, have a good have a good sleep. We got the UK hype at midnight from the Yawning Dory, the Montreal crew unite, Pennsylvania over here, we've got Okinawa in the house, excellent. Thank you for liking my, um, my little transition page there, uh, I like to make it. You, you, you guys have noticed that there's some interesting little logos here. I've got uh, an, an e-cycling little recycling logo as well as a little microchip. So this stream today is being sponsored by Intel and Dell and it's like very exciting. Um, I'm going to show you why it's being sponsored but I just wanted to get, we'll get into why. This is so coincidental in a second. Today's stream, uh, we're gonna visit uh, an e-cycle island. Uh-huh, so it's, it's lagging a bit, is it? Buffering hard, is it? Let's give it a minute to buffer. Why you gotta buffer so hard? We're back? Let me know if we're back. I'm running in circles if you can see me. I've never done this before and they have built an entire island. So that's pretty freaking cool. But first, uh, I need to change. Um, I am wearing what I think is a very normal, in my personal opinion, kind of outfit that I would wear to bed. Doesn't everybody wear PJs with like cat lasers and I have like unicorn fuzzy pants on, my glasses, like I didn't wake up this way. So, you know, uh, let's head back inside and change. I wish you guys could see at nighttime sometimes, like I wanna do a nighttime stream because my island is so just lit up, completely lit up. I've changed it a lot since you guys have last been here. Um, I've gone a little bit insane with uh, <laughs> all these guys I have so many of them but we all kind of just like grew uh, and this is way better um, someone says my voice is coming through but the video is staggering so I might need to lessen my speed on streaming tell me if it's uh oh no not in sync eh is it stabling out a little bit hope it's all right Someone says they also own PJ pants with cat lasers shooting their eyes out. It could just be at the very beginning, there's a lot of people kind of showing up. So Yawning Dory says, if you lower the video quality, viewing quality slightly, then there's no audio issues on Twitch. It's much better? Okay. 
I didn't even do anything. I just jammed out. All right, well, we're gonna change for the day. I don't think I should walk around in my um, cat PGs forever. Although last night I decided to go out uh, and be on my island and uh, there was a shooting star evening. And because of that, I was like, oh my God, like, and that's what I got, which is kind of similar to what I have now in a way. My hair's a little longer, but. <laughs> Okay, so some people are saying it's doing much better. Oh no, the lag is real, is it? Okay, so let me... So some people don't allow it to lessen. Okay, let me just check here if I can do any preferences to change this up a bit. As I stand uh, naked as my character. My poor, my poor character. Okay, let's check out, let's check out some stream options here. Good night, Charlix. Okay, re buffer. Na, 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 love this song. It's I honestly don't know how to change this while I'm in the middle of streaming, and I'm scared. I'm very, very scared to try to. Okay, drop frames. I see it. it says my stream quality is good. I don't know if that's uh. It's having its moments, is it? People refresh it and they're, they said they refreshed it and it's doing better. Okay. Hi, old. So some people are saying we can go for a refresher and it's doing better. Let's just see how it goes. It could just be people are kind of coming on and it's, you know, going like, ah, too many people and having a bit of a panic attack. My friends, what shall we wear today? Uh, I have many choices. As you can see, I have multiple types of uh, beautiful kimonos as being in Japan. And um, if you're ever concerned about wearing a kimono because you're like, oh no, it's cultural appropriation. Actually in Japan, people are thrilled when people wear kimonos because um, it's going really hardcore out of, not fashion, like it's so expensive to get a kimono and to have one made especially is so expensive. And so when you come there and you go to like Kyoto and you get to try on the, uh, let's see, uh, overalls, we've got a Christmas tree dress. It's too early for the Christmas tree dress. Something like a sweater dress, uh-huh. Let's see. Angela Chan says, can you see what bit rate you're streaming on? Let me see. Um, let me check for people who are right around this. Um, 300 frames per second, 30 frames per second is what I'm doing. And it's doing 2,714 kilobytes a second. I, I try to not be, be like showing my Canadian, but this is what I always end up doing. Um, we've also got uh, some gangster options, so I really like uh, wearing the, where is it, kind of being like, what's up? Uh, yeah, I live in Animal Crossing world, look at how I dress, I dress like how I dress in real life. No, we have to be a little classier than that today, do we? We could go full classy, shall we, everybody? Perhaps we could wear the conductor's jacket. Hmm. Pink and blue sweater dress in the shop, right? Martina. Um, <laughs> this one is super comfy too. I would absolutely wear this. Yeah, should we do the Canadian uniform? Maybe we'll go for the Canadian uniform, y'all. With some nice boot skis. Yeah. And we can do a cool pair of like semi garter socks. Oh, yeah. It's looking pretty good as it, <laughs> the Canadian uniform. Okay, so no lolly galling says, I recommend um, 720p at 30 frames per second of at least 3,000 kilobytes per second if your internet can handle that. Now, all of you people who know how to adjust all these things, because I'm so scared the stream is gonna just like abruptly cut if I do something, where do I adjust this? Uh, where, where do I adjust this without destroying the entire stream? I would like to make the stream um, happier for you guys, but I don't know where to change this. You guys, let me know and see if we can make this better. I don't have any glasses on today, so maybe um, no glasses, but we could go with a, a monocle. Indeed. <laughs> um, I got these uh, steampunk goggles, which I really like as well, and I gave them to one of my villagers, and he absolutely shows up wearing them, and it makes me really, really happy. I, you know, I feel like this is a pretty good look already. Maybe we can uh, toss on a little backpack or some bat wings because 
bat wings make everything look better. Bat wings or a cross bag? Uh, what are you guys thinking here? Bat wings or a cross bag? Uh, I am no lollygagging using OBS Studio. That's what I'm using right now. Oh, it's the streaming software. Oh, the output settings and stuff like that. Scuba gear. I don't know if I'm going to walk around with my scuba gear on the whole time. Bat wings. Bat wings. People are going for the bat wings. Why do I even ask? Of course we're going for bat wings. Okay. Uh, bat wings it is. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is that first, I'm just going to get myself a coffee. I finally did a kitchen. It's taken me years and I've finally done a kitchen. Oh, Gamer said, wait, Gamer Raid says, I got a fangle for a second. I sent you my Sailor Moon tattoo and you loved it and you sort of died inside. Why? It was amazing. It was an amazing done tattoo. I love when you guys tag me and send me these videos of things like that or pictures. Like I've seen some build a ladder tattoos as well. And I was like, I died inside seeing these kind of things. They're beautiful. This is my kitchen. Currently, I've got mushrooms all over the place um, because I'm starting to pick them and I've wanted to make it a super cozy kitchen. I've got this one. Are they called gyroids? Am I even saying that right? Anyways, I've got this one gyroid that's just kind of like doing his own thing and there's no music on and he's just like, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, no lollygagging says. I go to file, setting, output, and use bitrate 3000. Okay, should I try it? Let's see this. File, and I have no settings immediately. <laughs> Services and preferences, that's all I have. You think it's cottage core? Really? I always wanted to have like kind of that fairy core, cottage core kind of island, but I didn't feel like I, would, I have it. I have this little like shoji Japanese screen as well. And um, of course I have lots of food available, ramen and other delicious um, items. Look at that. I love it. Oh, I do kind of look like the, the Japanese school. I didn't realize it. But what you guys can't see here is I actually have um, bunny ears built into this outfit. Of course I had to get this. And of course I randomly got this in Harajuku, which is not normally a place that I would shop because everything is uh, quite small for me. Um, but this was like a big baggy kind of schoolgirl outfit with bunny ears. And I was like, um, yeah, I'm going to get that. So it's really, really comfortable. I'll show you the rest of my house afterwards and we're going to um, gather a bunch of different things um, to try to get this a little more wintry and Christmassy. But what have I got in my thing so far? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're going to be heading over. This is the, this is the special E-Cycle Island. I, I'm, we're going to head over to E-Cycle Island. And okay, so here's what's amazing about this. This stream being sponsored by Dell and Intel, if you're here to join me for the first time they have created an entire e-cycle island. So think about how meta this is, right? In the real world, we have e-waste, e-waste like our computers and laptops and all that kind of stuff. And in Animal Crossing land, I'm sure a lot of you guys have these rusted parts. So I have all these like rusted parts that I don't know what to do with. And so they've created an island so that you can recycle, you can e-cycle these rusted parts and turn them into new tech. So they've invited some Animal Crossing live streamers to go to this island. In the info box on YouTube and on Twitch, I've included for you the dream link so that you can go visit them as well, as well as like a Nookazon link so that you can trade your rusted parts in for different kinds of tech for your island, which I think is so cool because it's like <laughs> very meta going on right now, right? That's right. So Tulis is like, you've been bombarding, uh, you know, hoarding onto rusted parts, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head off to this island we're going to see what they've built because I can only imagine the glee in somebody's voice uh, when they were like, hey, we're trying to think of something to do for e-cycling. And someone's like, well, oh my gosh, Animal Island, Animal Island, Animal Crossing has so much, you know, difficulty recycling things and so many parts lying around and so much garbage. And they're like, why don't we build an entire e-cycling island? And somebody had the best day of their life, right? <laughs> I would love to be the person designing this island. An entire Animal Crossing island. <laughs> Yes, that's the name of my island. You can pronounce it as a yeah, Chome Airport. Hello, Lisa Booney, your first time to join. Hello. 
Um, we're gonna go flying. Mm hmm We're gonna, uh, we're gonna visit someone. We're gonna go on a, on an online play island. Roger, roger. Charge that phone, Jelly Mom Gamer. Jelly Gamer Mom. Hello, Lisa Booney. We got uh, some new uh, Mori, Moria Glory. We've got some new people first time to the stream as well. How do you want to travel? Uh, we're going to search for a friend. Hey, I am having a, a pretty good morning. This morning, um, I made... How perfect. This is exactly where I wanted to go. This morning, I made a special croissant witch. I did uh, folded uh, scrambled eggs with green onions, a little bit of butter and salt and pepper, and then I threw in some cheese, and then I gently slid that into a Kewpie mayo-covered croissant. The croissant was, like, so tiny. Uh, and then uh, it was delicious and amazing with a massive cup of toffee, hand-dripped. And that's how I started my day. All right, y'all. Uh, this is a very exclusive trip you're taking with me here to East Cycle Island. Da -da -da! So I've heard about the island and I kind of know what's going on, but I haven't had the chance to like fully explore it. So we can kind of go through this together. I'm quite excited. Let me see. Ugh. Usako Bun says, thank you for streaming today. It's helping me build a ladder today. That's really good to hear. This is the build a ladder for me too. Getting up and having like a goal to meet you guys online and to have a coffee. It's quite nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. Somebody got to build this. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Lady Tron says, love getting the chance to see you live. Been watching for what seems like forever at this point. This is a pretty magical looking island, right? Oh, Kag G said they had shin ramen for a snack earlier. I had shin ramen uh, the night before. Shin ramen with... Uh, cheese and scrambled eggs and uh, spinach and I chopped in some chicken breast that was pre-cooked. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Five star island over there with the, uh, with the flower. Wow. They have done an amazing job. Okay. So we got a chip trade station. This is insane. You guys. <laughs> wow, someone freaking went for it. Okay, there's a warp pipe, which I think I'm gonna take the warp pipe. If there's ever a warp pipe, you're like, I'm gonna take a, exactly, the 13th hour is like, can you imagine being the one to hire to build this island? That's really wonderful. Yeah, your boss comes along and they're like, we need you to build an East Cycle Island, and they're like, I'm in it, I'm taking the warp pipe. I'm doing it. Am I gonna end up somewhere secret? What? What the? Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, we'll talk later. <laughs> what up, bud? Oh my gosh. Okay, scan me guided tour. So I think that we can, I'm gonna scan this and I'm gonna send it over to, I've got my phone here. So I'm gonna scan it. I think you guys can scan this as well. Should I zoom in for you? Let me zoom in for you guys. I think this is gonna be like when you go to a, um, like a museum and you have a guided tour. Okay. Just ignore, just ignore the pig phone, my Kogi. Okay, and I'm gonna send the tour over to my computer and then I think you guys will be able to get the audio feed, but you may not be able to get the video feed, but you should be able to get the audio feed. Okay, so I've got it on my computer. I'm gonna press play on the tour. It's got this really cute little microchip. So now I get it. The microchip that's in the corner this way of my screen, the bottom, that's the chip that I'm looking at. I'm gonna press play, see if you guys can hear it. 
And if you can hear it, then we're going to continue with it. Okay. So let's take a, take a look ski. Tell me if you guys can hear this. Greetings, villagelings. Can you guys hear that? I have to pause to wait for your, for your lag to catch up. You can hear it. Okay. 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 We're doing this. Okay. I'm going to press live on this tour. Uh, where is it going to take me? Oh, I, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Greetings, villagelings. Welcome to our Intel eCycleland tour. My name's Microchip, and today I'll be your guide as we talk about electronic waste, e-waste for short, and what we can do about it. This is From amazing. The parts you find here to the e-waste yeah. that we have in real life. I'll walk you through how we can make both worlds a better place. Okay. There's only one rule. When you hear this... Okay. That means it's time to move it to is the adorable, station. right? No critters left behind. Okay, so the station it's must be these little... Me too. Let's get this show on the road. Should I wait for the ding-dongs? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Look. Station one. First things first. What oh. even is e-waste? Anyone? A anyone? No? Oh, well, this looks like I'll e -waste. tell you. Much like the rusted parts cluttering your pockets, e-waste is old or unusable electronics wow, that they did an amazing job. junk drawers and ultimately landfills. Did you know 54 million tons of e-waste is generated every year worldwide? That's equivalent to the weight of 350 cruise ships. Looks like your garage, right? And e-waste released 580 yeah. million metric tons of carbon dioxide Whoa. into the atmosphere in 2020 alone. That's the equivalent of 73 million U.S. homes energy for one year. Yeesh. And as tech leaders, Intel believes it's their responsibility to find solutions to clean up the mess that is e-waste through methods. This is pretty alive. amazing, right? Oh, uh, okay. Recycling. Ever heard of it? Wow, well, now such a have, nice guide. That's <gasps> what we do here. Turn your rusted parts into brand what? new shiny tech. That's e-cycling. When you e-cycle something, you're recycling electronic equipment wow. in a safe, sustainable way or reusing the materials to turn them into something shiny and new. How Talk well done is this? Fun DIY project. And when we reuse materials, we reduce our environmental footprint overall, helping make the world <laughs> a greener place. How wonderful is that? Wow. Now that we're e-cycling experts, who's it's ready so to cool, play right? a game? Oh, okay. Uh... Wait. Step right up, folks. Let's play Will It E-Cycle? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're <laughs> gonna do great. First up, a okay. computer monitor. Computer Will monitor. E -cycle? Yes, definitely. You got it. How wow. about cameras? Headphones? A radio? Will Headphones. E -cycle? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes, you're a pro. What about a fish? Will it e-cycle? <laughs> no. Save those I'm gonna for the see. At the museum. How about chargers? Wow. TVs? Hi, well, if you're just uh if you're just joining. Yes and yes. Wow. Just remember, if it has a plug, a charger, uses batteries, or has a chip like me in it, you can e-cycle it. Now that we know what e-waste is and isn't, let's see how easy e-cycling can actually be. Station four, here oh. we come. This is so well done. They're just guiding you beautifully, but they've done such an amazing job incorporating the world. So, now what? You've already made an impact by coming here, but what if you wanted to donate your rusted parts oh. in real life? Well, lucky for you, oh my gosh. here at Intel, we've teamed up with some cool critters to help make e-cycling outside of this island easy, rewarding, and free. <laughs> no bells required. Our friends at Dell Technologies offer great options to help you. This is pretty much my chair. For instance, with Dell, 
You can e-cycle any of your old devices no matter the oh. brand. Eligible devices can be traded in for credit towards new electronics. And for those devices that aren't eligible, they'll e-cycle them for free. You can even e-cycle your old electronics through the Dell Reconnect program by dropping them off at a participating Goodwill. How else can you minimize e-waste? Try to choose electronics that are known for being long-lasting and are made from e-cycled components that can later be easily repaired, Watches. upgraded, and refurbished. Sounds easy enough, right? I can feel the positive impact already. Now, let's scoot on over to one last stop. Okay. The gift shop. They made a gift shop? <laughs> wow. Well, fellow change makers, our journey oh my gosh. is coming to a close. Oh. Your adventures in e-cycling are just beginning. Okay. I've had such a wonderful time being your tour guide today. You're welcome back anytime. So this isn't goodbye. It's just see you later. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for a bit so you guys can take um, a photo of this if you want because I'm guessing that this is their um, probably their shop when you go to like visit the Hazel Sisters and they have like custom merch and stuff like that. This was really amazing. Um, so if you guys are just joining me now, Intel and Dell are sponsoring the stream to talk about e-cycling and if you are in the States, uh, if you've missed this little, this little uh, amazing little guided tour like you're in a museum, if you're living in the States, you can bring any, any brand, so it's not just specific to one brand. And you know, like with Christmas coming up, we all have so much old tech lying around. Like my mom has a drawer of cell phones that are just like 18th generation iPhone cell phones that just you don't know what to do with them. And so you can uh, bring, send them to Dell or you can actually um, trade them in or you can go to like a Goodwill and get credit and stuff. So they're trying to, you know, get across this message. And I think this is a really incredible way to do it. You know, Animal Crossing has all these waste parts as well. Like I literally am carrying around rusted parts. They told me to bring rusted parts. And I was like, I will bring a rusted part. I can't believe they have a little gift shop set up too. They really went for this. Isn't this absolutely amazing? Wow. Wow. Okay, so I'm guessing if you go online, you can like... <laughs> oh my gosh, the outfit matches the colors, the branding. It is a really fun way to promote uh, e-cycling, isn't it? Yeah, that's great to see. So a cute, a cute angel, angel you woo says my partner and I will 1000% be looking into e-cycling uh, some stuff. Exactly, like you just don't really think about it, but whenever Christmas comes around, that's when you get new laptops or maybe like new speakers or headphones or whatever it is, TVs that are just like lying in your parents' garage for ages. Wow, this is so beautifully done. And look at the Tanuki, everybody. I am a big Tanuki fan. I hope the, the stream is better now as well, by the way. I'm checking to see if, uh, it, if it's doing better. I'm checking on YouTube as well because normally I can see everybody's chats on YouTube, but for some reason today, I'm not seeing it. Hopefully I'm not uh, killing the, the lag. So the stream is smooth? Okay, good. So maybe it was just the beginning of the stream kind of was going a bit wacky. Let me see. Okay, I can see myself live over here on Animal Crossing. Oh, it is way better. Okay, that's good. I hope I don't destroy this by checking um, Instagram. I'm just gonna pause it so that I don't actually play the stream. Oh, the chat, good. That's awesome. Okay, good. It is good to see them getting children involved, right? So, oh, this is fantastic. So now I can see both of you guys. I really don't understand. E-cycling, but make it cozy. Oh, thank you, Ken. You should do more game vlogging. You love the format. That's awesome to hear. Okay, so now I've managed to create a, a two of them. Uh, two, two of them. Normally the chats come for both. I can see both chats, but I couldn't today for some reason. Hi, JTC. This is really, really wonderful. Now I can see everybody. Yay. All right, well, I think we should explore the rest of this island because somebody clearly worked very hard to put this together. They didn't just like, I was gonna say half A it, but instead I'm gonna say, they didn't half butt it. Wow. <laughs> this is seriously just so beautifully done. Yeah, Harry Hawk's like, I've been holding old, old laptops and tech for years trying to figure out what to do with them. I'm glad Dell has a program like this and they're promoting it. Yeah. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Jimin. 
Elizabeth on YouTube says, I have a pile of old electronics in my basement waiting for local e-cycling. Good to know Dell and Goodwill can take them. That's awesome. Okay, good. Yay, I can finally see everybody at the same time. Hurrah, it's worked out. Okay, so if you got a chance to take this, the shot of this, if not, I'm gonna be doing one more stream because I don't think I can explore this island in one entire go. So, but I'm gonna take a picture of this and then I'm gonna maybe put on some Dell or Intel merch or something. I like this little recycle shirt, to be honest. We will return, we will return. Hi, Tifa Corn. Oh, I see a Matina in Korean from Timi leaning in. Oh, it, it says Mioni, Never mind. I was hoping it said Martina, but it didn't. Wow, look at this, you guys. They've done that thing where you can't like just go, oh, the frog chair. Details. Can we just talk about details here? Good night, shower alligator. You got to go to bed now. You're happy you got to watch a bit of it. Nice. <laughs> Ash Beerwood. This is like a spiritual successor to a Saturday morning cartoon PSA. You're totally white, right. What is it like? Um, Oh, G.I. the real American hero. They used to have like those messages afterwards that were like, kids, don't do this and don't do that. This was your, this is your Saturday morning one, e-cycling. <gasps> Hi. Oh my gosh, you're, you're, you're like a tiny bit cuter than my villagers. What? Shh. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. AJ ever saw you. Didn't know you had Twitch, but you got a new follower. Well, thank you for following. Peter's girl life in the house. Hi, Lynn. Okay, let's see what else uh, what else is going on here. Because I have these rusted parts. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they have really done this amazing job. Okay, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back and explore all this kind of stuff later. Because I was, excuse me, my red stapler line. I was told I could recycle my part my parts. I was told I could recycle my parts. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Oh, this is an e-cycled robot. You know, it's like the one only thing that you can put into um, Animal Crossing. I think it's like 40 cardboard boxes and a rusted chip or something. Okay, so this is where I start. Oh, I, okay, look, it says trade. Okay, so this is the trade area. Yeah, yeah it is. Hello from Mexico, hola. I think this is where we're gonna go trade my chips. Wow, this is so incredibly done, right? Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> A better use for gyroids perhaps? Mine are all on my wall just like jamming out. Somebody took ages. Is this a real person? Hi. Oh my gosh, they're real! Hi! <laughs> this is amazing! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Posing, posing, you guys. <laughs> now, do I, can I give them like a, a chip part or? How do you engage with somebody with your with your stuff when you're on the island? Let's see. Wow, look at this. Okay, so what should I do? I give them my chip, do I give them a chip? Am I like, here, this is my chip. There's my chip. Rusted part, what can I do with this rusted part? Hmm. Am I supposed to put it into the machine? How do I, but how do I, but how do I do this? You place the chip on the counter? Okay, how do I put it on the counter? Here I go. Okay. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I swear I can animal crossing. Okay, I'm gonna grab one and I'm gonna just drop one. Did I do it? I did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I got closer. Thank you. Okay. And then I go to the green leaf, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> this is, this is, 
This is crazy. <laughs> okay. Eh, eh. <laughs> Isn't this cute? You're like, I actually got gassed, right? Okay, okay, what it, what? So then how do I, I got a gaming desk. What? An entire gaming desk? This is amazing. <gasps> wow, it is so cute, right? Oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, this, this was really wonderful. Thank you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a photo of this amazingness. He's like, <laughs> let's see. Let us take a photo together, shall we? Oh no, my eyes are closed. <laughs> Just like real life. <laughs> this is hilarious. Wow. So if you guys this is this is really amazing. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to say bye for now. Thank you. I'm heading off now. Wow. Am I allowed to recycle more than one thing? I wish I could. Can I? Is it greedy? No, it's too greedy of me. I'll recycle another one next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you little cute chip man. Isn't this so wholesome and cute? Oh, by the way, if you're joining me right now, this is not my island. Um, this is the Intel Dell E-Cycle Island. They have made an entire island. Oh, this is the little warp pipe. They've made an entire island so that um, you can see how e-cycling works. And so if you have any rusted chips or rusted parts in your, in your um, actual, see here, there's like, I have all these rusted chips. If you have any of these, in my info box links for Twitch or for YouTube, you can go to Nookazon and trade in your rusted parts for um, e-cycled items, which is just like in real life. So they're trying to you know, promote the message that you've got all these things hanging around like phones and old laptops and TVs and anything with a plug is what they said on the tour, right? So they're saying you can bring them into Dell, you can send them in, you can get credit, and you can even bring them into different Goodwills that are participating and change it in for credit as well. So that's pretty awesome. So this is a really amazing way to promote that message. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, this is totally awesome. Wow. I mean, I feel like I should say more than wow, but I'm just kind of like mouth agape at what they built here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, tiny penguin. Call me Flo, it's your strawberry. Cool, I never forget a name. Yes, I put a star in my name just to make life super difficult. I'm glad you're liking the vibe of it, Jin Bulls. <laughs> you like an e-cycle land? I just love the air here. It's sweet, but also has a tiny hint of sea salt. It's so amazing that, you know, Animal Crossing players speak this way, but it's it's like within the world of an e-cycling land, so... Wow. Thanks, I will. Thank you for this little, little message. Wow, wow, wow. And look, they've got solar panels out and everything. So I'm going to be going to see my island afterwards, and I've actually never, um, I've never put my dream code up. I just wasn't sure. Oh, welcome, M. Weber, who's joined as a crewmate. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to put a, I think, a link to my dream, my dream island, is it? <gasps> can I leave a message on the board? I totally can, can't I? Can I? Up to two posts during one trip. Oh my gosh. Should I try to draw? It's gonna be awful. I should probably type and then draw. Okay, here we go. As fast as we humanly can. Ah, and I've already messed up, you guys. Loved. <laughs> Qu <laughs> question mark? <laughs> no, you guys, no. <laughs> oh my God, why is it not going back? Okay, wait, hold on. I swear I can technology. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Loved. Loved. 
E. Cycle. This is when you go, oh, spell check doesn't exist anymore. Loved E cycle is land. Someone worked really hard on this. It was really beautifully done. And let's go for a crazy emoji. Shh, symbols. And let's go into, there we go. Looks good. Done. Yay. <laughs> Oh, thanks, M. Weber. That's great to see. Showing support because you found uh, good food in Japan because of me. That's great to know. I'm actually working on my next... Um, he is an ugly Christmas sweater, by the way. My next Tokyo Tours is coming out um, very, very soon. And I'm going to be going to Osaka, I think it's like next week, uh, to film a special edition Tokyo Tours because I felt like it's the end of the year and it's like my last Tokyo Tours of 2022 because it'll be up in December, right? Uh, I'm going to see... I feel like we were able to explore another part of this island, right? Wow, but it's so nicely done. The guides and everything. You guys really did an amazing job with this island. Whee! If you guys missed the tour, I'm going to be streaming again, uh, I think next week or so. And then uh, after next week, you can, you can see the rest of this excellent island. Definitely I was able to like go into a store or something, right? I feel like I was able to walk in. How's the weather in Japan? Starkiller LX01. Um, it just finally got cold. Yesterday was uh, chilly and, um, oh, this is where I saw before. It was chilly and rainy and miserable. And today it is beautiful blue skies and like a little bit on the chilly side, which is nice because it's just been not autumn. What day next week? I think, yeah, I'm going to stream about the same time because it's a lot of people are asleep if I try to stream in the evening. Yeah, it is almost sweater weather, so I'm quite happy. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Where did they get these amazing cubes from? This is pretty amazing. Yes, Letterbag, if you're just joining, um, this is a Dell and Intel sponsored live stream. I will be uh, going back to my island, but right now we're exploring eCycle land, where somebody has worked very hard to get across the message of e-cycling, which is recycling your phones and your laptops and tech and um, all that tech that goes into like a, a what's called like a land landfill ends up, I think, leaching a lot of toxins. And so this is all about, you know, if you're in the States, you can bring stuff into uh, Goodwill for credits. You can also send it in to Dell and they will exchange it. Any tech, it doesn't have to be their specific brand. What in the... They built a server room, you guys. Look at this. Wow. He's like, don't touch me. I'm hard at work. This is seriously crazy. <laughs> it's so cool. Everyone take down inspo. Someone's like, steal one. I have absolutely enough of my own and I, uh, I don't think you can take things from someone's island that you're visiting. Right? Oh, so um, Tifa Corn, welcome to Explorers. Thank you for joining as a channel member. Uh, welcome as an explorer. Um, you have a whole bunch of videos to go through. There are um, tons of Explorer post videos that are in the member panel. So you can catch up all my like monthly Explorer videos and stuff like that. The 13th hour, employees of the month, right? I know. Wow, we dig rusted parts. This is amazing. This is just sitting here. I can't take it, can I? That would be really awful if I did that, but I just wanted to see what's happening. Wow, they built an entire workshop. You guys. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Yes, Aaron, a sponsorship. I can survive, eat food and live. It's wonderful. And you know, I'm very, very picky. I don't want to work with everybody. If you guys know my stories from the Korean days of being like, 
do you want to get plastic surgery to fix your nose? And I was like, what's wrong with my nose? I'm going to fix your nose. So I'm not saying yes to everyone, but I thought this was a really good message. And you know, I love Animal Crossing, so this is kind of a really beautiful combination of things that you can put together. Um, uh, should I go up? Or should I go down? Should I go up or down? What are you guys thinking? JTML1 says here in Toronto, flurries as well. Yes, my mom just sent me photos this morning um, and uh, it was photos of everything being just covered in snow. Lisa Bunny on Twitch says, uh, Chodashi Sushi says, uh, uh, to think someone has to find these, I know. Uh, Popper Crep says, up, uh, up. Uh. Okay, we're going up. We're going up. I'm going up, dun, dun. I want the world to know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? How did they, how did they make this? This is crazy. I didn't even know you could get a room with stars. Like, <gasps> it's pretty. And they picked an alien type gyroid. Oh my gosh. How is this doing this? It is Mars. What? Okay, I am taking a picture of this. <laughs> wow. This is totally nuts. The Mars Rover. Hey, little alien buddy. Doing your alien buddy thing. Wow. I'm wondering if the wallpaper's 3D. Like, how are they getting these meteorites to float? Wow. Someone said there's another room. The space theme is amazing, right? I would also love the wallpaper in real life. Someone said there's a, ah, I accidentally left. Okay, I'm gonna save the basement because I'm gonna come back to the island again and explore a little more because I do wanna spend some time on my island as well. Um, but there needs to be something left for me to explore for next time. So the basement will be for the next stream and for people who maybe couldn't make this stream, right? Um, let's see, look at all these cute people. Everyone's like, no, go to the basement. I'm waiting for the next stream. Should I visit the Able Sisters? I think I should. First, I get a capsule toy, because very Japan. I'm also considering making a video that's called Animal Crossing in real life, because you have no idea how many times I've been by the amount of things in Animal Crossing are real in Japan. I, it's not just made up. What up, girl? I know you do. You are amazing. I'd like to thank you for being amazing. You're amazing, too. I, chat, I don't know if you know... Uh, Sable ignores you until you talk to her every single day for an, an insane amount of time, right? Oh, look! Look! Custom shirts! This is the microchip that was talking at the tour that you guys couldn't see but you could hear. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. That's fine. I think I have this recycle one, but I didn't have chip. Definitely. Okay, let's do this. I mean, I've got nothing there to delete. <laughs> this is the chip that was helping me, right? This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna come back later, but I have the chip shirt so that I can put them on uh, next time. Good evening from Toronto. Hello, Stephanie. Welcome to the stream. Um, Dextry has just joined as a passenger. Welcome to the airship memberships. Thank you for joining as a passenger. Make sure you check out the community tab because I've got lots of posts that you can catch up on that are looking like they're hidden. Let's see what they got uh, today in their shop, shall we? 
I also have mentioned before, but people keep popping in, in the info box, um, oh my gosh, in the info box, there are links to the dream island address of this island. So you can come visit it on your own as well, as well as Nookazon links so that you can take your rusted chips and trade them in for other things as well. Are these, I have not seen any of these in the game before. What? I personally cannot wear a crop top shirt. It is just something I am not confident enough to wear but I would really like a crop top shirt for my Animal Crossing player, potentially. Well, we are going well summer mode here. That's a bit much for me, I'll be honest. I'm a little bit on the, um, like I can't show skin. I feel very like, ah, when I do it. Go for it if you'd like to, but I feel really scared all the time. I'm like, it's too much boobage. But this is pretty cute, right? This is a pretty cute outfit, I think. What do you guys think? Beige? or black or gray. I would wear this actual outfit. I think that's how I, I generally play. Thank you, mm, Is for chatting. Thank you so much. The tie top is really cute, right? It's just too much for me. Ah, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, my belly. <laughs> okay, I think this is a pretty cute, cute outfit. Uh-oh, but they have Parker shirt dresses. Oh, I love a shirt dress. I love a good shirt dress. No, I think I think the cutoffs with the black sweater and the cool little socks that I'm wearing with my boots are pretty awesome, right? The garter socks, yes, I know. Oh, Mimi Chan says, me too. I can't dress showing off too much skin. It makes me self-conscious. I know, I really can't do it. I mean, really power to you guys and girls and theys and thems for being able to dress as you are. I mean, I'm dressing the same way I am too, which is, I usually love, I love hoodies and baggy clothing and I love baggy pants. And sometimes I feel sassy and I wear like tight pants and a tight shirt, but I'm always self-conscious the whole time about it. I don't know what it is, but um, that's how I'm feeling. I think, wow, amazing. I'm thinking this is a pretty fly look right about now. What do you guys think? It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and I already have those boots for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I'm ready to make this purchase. I am gonna wear out what I'm wearing out. Look at this, oh yeah. Wintertime cute and wetty. Well, thank you very much. This has been excellent. Next time I come to the island, I'm gonna come as a fangirl and I'm gonna wear like a chip shirt. <laughs> and I'll wear like a little blue cap and I'll be like, I'm excited and ready to do things. Uh, they are comics. I love them. I feel like an, uh, not an evil villain, but a bit like an evil villain, right? Ooh, Tulsi1 says, I'm checking out the e-cycle land via the dream code. It's snoopin' time. Morpheus glasses, exactly. Thank you for liking the shades. Uh, well, this has been pretty amazing. Hey, bud, I'm sorry I can't help you because this is not my island. Um, we'll do one last stop into the store to see what's up in the store, and then we'll head over to my island, which will feel incredibly inferior in comparison to this. If you guys have never seen my island before, it's very whimsical, you know, it's very Martina. So it's not, it's not a very organized town because I don't want to destroy everything. Welcome, hi guys. Oh, I don't want to sell. I'm gonna say see you later. I know I don't need to ask because you'll follow. Wait, where's his brother? Oh, ah. Oh. That was really scary. You guys, I'm using an, a tanuki uh, for my arm support while King Kogi sits in the background. Wow. Oh, your thumb brace broke. I'm wearing uh, my um, finger support gloves when I game because my knuckles and joints come out. Okay, well, I have a soccer ball and I have that. Um, this looks exactly like a seat on a Japanese train. Wow. I don't know why I'd want this. So I'm not gonna buy it. However, in the winter time, hot tip for coming to Japan, the seats blow hot air out and up into the seat and your butt becomes so warm, so toasty and warm. And you're like, I don't need this much heat coming through my butt. I'll be honest with you. I have enough butt as is. I already have this sign up in my bedroom um, and I don't want a guitar. We're gonna see what's, uh, what tiny wallpaper you have so that I could uh, squint really hard. <gasps> a spirited away room. Tada, she says, she says you could do a Spirited Away theme room. Um, you're right. Maybe I'll have to go back and buy it. Oh, what a beautiful parasol. I might have it though. I have bought so many parasols. 
Simple cloth wall, perforated board wall. I think I have all these walls. Don't you guys feel like when you're on Animal Crossing, you're like looking at this tiny thing, you're like, I think it's gonna be okay. It's so complex. I do like this parasol though, and I feel like it will be perfect for my current outfit because I look like um, a gothy, nothing else is interesting to me here. And I, and I burn, uh, which I burn in real life, and I carry around a parasol everywhere I go, so it seems accurate. Yeah. Let me see. Someone's message got hidden for the word butt warmers. I will allow it. Jessica says, Trans terraforming my island gave me so much anxiety and all I did was move the river a bit. Well, I've done three different terraforms already and so we're gonna be doing another one today. I'm trying to make height now on my island so we're gonna go enjoy that. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna do a spirited away room. That's too complex. I have a kitchen that I spent hours and days making, so. And I will regret this later. I will, and I'll think about it. I'll lie in bed at night and go, why didn't I get that? If you're just joining uh, the stream now, we are on eCycle Island, which is freaking amazing. Um, this stream has been sponsored by Dell and Intel, and it's been promoting people to e-cycle, recycle their parts like their um, phones and their laptops and anything that has a plug as they said it and they built this entire island to help us go through it and guide it. I was able to trade in one of my rusted parts from Animal Crossing Island. So meta! I'm going to be doing another stream here but I don't want to go to see everything already. So I think I'm going to say goodbye for today from this island and we're going to head back to my island but I really thought this was beautifully done. I mean really it was just really wonderfully done. I know you guys had a good time as well. Back to my island. Okay guys, this island was really beautifully done, so don't, um, you know, judge my island. If your stream, if your stream freezes, refresh. Oh. I'm, I'm waiting because I saw that you guys are, you're back, an error message. I'm waiting for you guys. I saw that there was an error message. It's back? We back. They're Cardassian. Do I like Katamari Damashi? Uh, I played it like twice. I've already played it and then I played it living in the States. I've been mentioning, you know, they're going to e-cycle and head to different places as well. And you can send things into Dell. And there's links in the info box as well that take you over to information that show you where it's available um, in case there's lags and stuff. But really, this was amazing. So yeah, thank you so, so much. Now we go back to my uh, strange, strange island. Hi, Nicole Valley. First time to see the island. Lexvo, you didn't know I was streaming. I don't know how to get the message out. I tweeted, I Instagrammed, I put it on YouTube. Here's my island. Oh, it looks so different to their beautifully organized island. Um, but this is my island, everybody. Welcome. It's 10.04 a.m. Uh, it's Barry Martina. Hope you like it. My villagers are really cute and sassy. So, howdy queen. I kind of just phase out at the end of people's names because it's too complex. It looks really nice at nighttime because I really wanted fairy lights everywhere. That was my goal. All right. I got my Nookie Miles. And I really want to see this. I e-cycled one of my chips and I got a gaming desk, excuse me. Nightly, Nightly says, Martina, do you have any tips for someone with chronic illness moving for the first time? Yes, yes. Stretch before you move. Um, stretch before you move, before you actually start moving. Brace up. That can be either through tape, like, uh, you know, that's really stretchy tape. Um, you can do braces. I did braces on my wrists and I did a back brace, which is a big one because you're bending and lifting a lot. And don't try to super push yourself. Push yourself, but then take a break. I was gonna say have an onigiri, which is what I did in Japan, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's very, very important. And try not to take everything out in one go. Like I kind of tackle different rooms and stuff like that. Lots of ice, cause you're gonna be very swollen. So, and if you guys don't know, I have um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So I have, uh, that's why people are talking about chronic illness if you don't know. William Chen's in the house. Okay, so my island I'm changing up for Christmas times. So I put these two trees here. If you're new to Animal Crossing, when the snow hits, Randomly, the fir trees will get lit with lights, but you don't know which ones. And so I dug up my fir trees to try to put them out here. 
you head over here to the left, we have my little tiny outdoor onsen. So let's head on into my onsen. Maybe I should put my umbrella away for now. This is my onsen. So it's like a little private area. It's got yuzus in the bathtub, which I love. And you can just kind of chill here and be like, yeah, lie around. It's kind of private, right? Zebras unite! And uh, over here, I have a place to change your hair, and this is a locker so that you can change. It's got a picture of Spurgey. Mm, Spurgey. Octavio324 says, I got diagnosed a year ago, and my previous moves and how much they wrecked my body totally makes sense. Yeah, especially like the, um, the inflammation is the problem, and that's why ice, ice, baby. You gotta keep that inflammation down. I do like what I'm wearing already. I don't think I need to change anymore at this point, but uh, some of you guys have not seen uh, my wardrobe. I'm wondering though if my sweater is just too hot for this weather. So maybe we could put on um, something lighter, like a, ooh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Look at, look at this excellent, sassy looking. Oh, maybe we can, <gasps> what are we thinking about this? Is it a little bit too deal with the devil? We, we could be a little bit less deal with the devil. Princess Dream actress. Hello, everyone. Was watching a Brian Hall stream, but here I am. I don't know who Brian Hall is, but I'm sorry that I have taken someone from thy stream over here. Oh, look at me. I'm a preppy school person. Yeah, you think, uh, you think this is kind of like casual Canadian demon in a way? You got your first snowfall in Toronto, says Stephanie, I know. This is my Hufflepuff robe because no matter how much I try to uh, pretend that I am not Hufflepuff, I'm definitely Hufflepuff. Konnichiwa. We're thinking flannel or are we thinking um, flannel or, oh, I've got this black puffer too. Too many choices here, right? Nikki, thank you for joining as an explorer, welcome. Check out the members only videos because you've got some to catch up on and uh, the community tab for all the extra posts. Okay, are we doing tie or are we gonna stick with black? That's the question. That's what we have to figure out. Let's see. Oh, and uh, let's see. Colors, Hufflepuff. Mm, black, we're gonna stick with black maybe. I think the black looks pretty, the black jacket. Yeah. So we had this one and we had this open black jacket, which is very like, I'm a business from top and business below. We got black, black, black tie, gray jacket. We got the black, we got pink, we got the black. Okay, so we're, I think we're going for black, but we need to figure out, we got the black sweater that I, I end up leaving with exactly the same outfit. Shall I go with the, um, the leather jacket, I guess, this is what we're going for. Or this one here. Open, people are saying. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with this one. It is business time. Business up top and party down below. All right. Uh, and so you can take this little secret ladder up. I only recently learned about the ladder builds. And so you can kind of like just chill here on the, on the cushion and just enjoy yourself. And you can look at the stars and stuff, uh, especially this star. Yeah. I know, I, I think all these outfits are the outfits that I would like to wear in real life. It's not like something that I've just done for my character. This is the path that leads up to my house. In the evening time, these are all little glow bugs and so they glow. And I have my little gothy corner with my little table and I've got my little, these roses took forever to grow. And look at my little, look at my little dude here. Love him. <laughs> we match. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Head Challenge said, how often do you play Animal Crossing? Um, I play it at home by myself without streaming, um, but then I stream probably, I'm thinking like once a month maybe. It just depends on my, on my schedule, right? Alyssa Farrell says, how did you get that ladder? You have to get the ladder building kit, and then you have to take a ladder that you've had and build it into a ladder kit that goes against the side of the wall. So it's been a game changer, let me tell you. And then this, these are crickets. See beautiful crickets in the evening, and this leads up to my house. And we've got my lovely tanuki and my spooge. We're gonna check, oh no, if I check this mail, am I gonna pick these flowers? No. Ah, ah. Thank you, Zlove89. You've been a fan of mine for years. Happy streaming, thank you so much. Hope you've been enjoying it. Been itching to write you ever since. Alfonso. Um, Alfonso's quite funny. 
Jolly Reds, I've bought uh, something that I don't know if it's real or not, but I don't care. Um, and this is a Japanese, it's happening right now, a Japanese festival. The thump, scenic painting, and this is the, it's a candy. Oh, that's not at all what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go ahead and put that gate back. <laughs> I was trying to show you the candy. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you. So it's a, it's a Japanese holiday. Perfect, love the view. Um, I think it's great. You guys can really see what's going on. Yep, love it. Look at that cherry. Mmm, yes. Oh, everyone's talking about the vines and how they're amazing, but I cannot find the vines at all. I've been looking everywhere for vines and I just cannot find the vines. Like, I know you have to go by Kappa and you have to go to his island and I just, I don't know why I have such bad luck. I can never get interesting islands either. So we can try it today and see if you guys bring me the luck. Planted a gyro here last night. Excellent. It is immaculate cinematography, I think. Okay, let's head on in, add my gyroid to my ginormous wall of no more needed gyroids, and, or maybe in the back one. And I'm gonna drop off some of the stuff I have into my inventory so that I can go around because yesterday they were shooting stars and that means that maybe there's stars all over my island. We can only hope. Does my wall need more of these? Uh, I'm gonna say no, um, but can you see the top one there who looks like a Kogi? We're gonna go for immaculate cinematography again. Look at this, look at that. Him. Isn't that totally a Kogi gyroid? It totally is, right? You always get the vine, Stephanie? What the heck? Hi, Kate. Hi, Martina, how are you? Quite good. Um, I've had a, a lot of coffee and I've had an excellent croissant twitch that I made this morning. Couldn't do uh, rice today because it would take a little bit too long. Oh, Jessica, thank you so much. She says, hi, Ms. Martina. In case I don't get the chance to say it later, thanks for being such an upbeat inspiration. Happy super early Christmas. Well, thank you so very much. And I'm going to Osaka in a week or so to film a Tokyo tours. And so this wonderful chatting you've just done is gonna be going into that anyways, because I have to book hotel rooms and um, go to a bunch of different shops. So thank you so much for that chatting. That's a really, really wonderful thank you. Um, I am Kao says they like my chair in real life. I also like my chair in real life. This is my very first gaming editing chair. I've been sitting on wooden Ikea chairs for the past like 10 years of being a video editor and it has been a real pain in the back. Maybe we can add the gyro to another room. Oh, so nice to have a chair that's comfy. Welcome, V Ninjari. First Kinkogi live stream, how's it going? I love your outfit, by the way. Thank you, it's my own little tiny um, gothy outfit. So this is my, my outside area here. Let's see if we can add him here somewhere. I feel like he's kind of lonely. I have so many of these wall of void. Oh, he's loving it. Look at him. He's like, yeah, mm -hmm. Looks pretty good going for it over there. Or should I put him in front of the fire? So he's kind of doing like a little ode to the fire. It's actually getting so bright in here and I can't really see where he's facing. Let me see. There we go. Let's turn the lights on. Ah, <laughs> it's so bright now. Uh, maybe, maybe he's good here. Okay, lights are off again. There we go. So this is my outdoors area. I consider it kind of like where I chill. I try to have natural lighting as best I can. Um, and so this is kind of like a rooftop area, right? And you can have a little barbecue and you can kind of have a rock climbing wall. And I thought it was kind of a, a chill place. And now we got this guy going for it. Dun, dun, dun. AJ's like, I Ikea chairs aren't comfy whatsoever. 10 years, you deserve that awesome comfy chair. Yeah, it was a, a real, surprise as to why I had not had an editing chair earlier, but um, now that I am my own person, I choose to get an editing chair. This is the onsen area. 
the onsen area I've worked very hard on. I wanted it to look like an indoor onsen because who doesn't want to have an onsen, right? Isn't it pretty? Isn't it so pretty? You can come here and share a cup of tea with me and we can play a little game of Go. And we've got this beautiful background. And Every time I think about The Simpsons, when, um, I don't know if you guys remember this episode, Principal Skinner has, uh, 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 what's his name? Sup Supervisor Chalmore, what's his name again? Superintendent Ch Chalmore something over and everything catches on fire and he's like, is your kitchen on fire? And he's like, no, it's Aurora Borodellis. And he's like, of this time of day? He's like, yes. He's like, at this time of year? He's like, yes. Can I see it? He's like, no. That's, that's what it reminds me of. Jitma, JTML1 says, what neighborhood in Japan do you live in, Martina? I'm in Tokyo and I live in Setagaya. And Setagaya is like a big borough, like a big neighborhood. Um, so that's where I am, loving the Setagaya. Natasha says, hi, Martina. You've been such an inspiration to me over the years. Looking forward to your future adventures and to see, and to see the e-cycle gaming desk. Exactly. I have a desk upstairs, so I think I'm going to change my desk potentially for the new e-cycling one. Located entirely within your kitchen. May I see it? No. <laughs> Iboso's got it too. And uh, yeah, I have my little onsen here. Different than the outside one. And I have a yukata. So when you go to um, a ryokan or an onsen or a super sento, you can wear a yukata. And so this is, uh, you can just change into it. Anyone who's visiting can like enjoy this yukata. And I thought it was really comfortable and pretty. I'm going to put some stuff into storage. Um, and then, oh, scenic painting. We should see. Should we see if it's real? I don't know if I want to donate this. I got it because I like it, not because I wanted to donate it. Does anyone else do that, or am I a terrible Animal Crossing player? See, look at it. It's like this beautiful winter scene. Isn't it gorgeous? I wanted to put it in my house. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Hmm. Um, Jim Jam 2292 says, are you enjoying living in an apartment, Martina? Do you find it cramped? No, I really enjoy living in the apartment. I feel like there's a couple of things that are pros and cons. So when you live in a house in Japan, you have to do all the recycling yourself from scratch and recycling in Japan is quite intense depending on your neighborhood. So you have to like fold the boxes and cut them all and tie them with string and your neighbors can be like, you're not doing it right because they have a neighborhood vibe they want you to keep, which is why they can feel uncomfortable with foreigners moving in because we don't quite understand that neighborhood vibe. But in an apartment, I bring everything down to the apartment recycling room in the garbage room. So I go downstairs and I go into that area, drop off my garbage, and then my caretaker takes care of it. And my caretaker's adorable. It's adorable. He is, he loves animals and he'll call me, like I'll be kind of in a rush to get to the, to get to the subway and he'll be like, oh, like come here, come here. And he shows me this like thing and he's like, look, there's ducklings. And I'm like, wow. Oh, it's so 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 sweet and he really loves showing me different animals and vines and things that are growing outside of the area so yeah it's really really nice so that's something that's a pro of living in an apartment and I am really lucky to have a nice balcony well I made the balcony nice but I have the space and so that was a big thing for me because I wanted to cook in the kitchen and have lots of light so I'm really enjoying it I, I like I just love this apartment yeah yeah Mrs. in a box says I finally made it to a stream hi 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 yeah, it's really great to have him, Kate, for sure. So it is quite different when you have um, a caretaker, you know. So there's obviously differences between the housing. And I have a, an, an elevator, so I don't have to go up so many stairs. And it's all flat. So these things I find quite convenient, you know. Okay, someone said that this is a fake because there's a hunter. There's too many hunters in it. So let's go up to my bedroom, and we will take a look at what this amazing uh, desk seems like. Jim Jam 2292 says, you love the plants I have in the balcony. It's very cozy. Thank you. I, I tried to make it feel like I am in the outdoors. And now that winter is coming, I have to kind of um, put, I think, plastic around some of my plants. Welcome to my bedroom. First of all, I'm going to take off my shoes because you don't wear shoes indoors in Japan. Um, so welcome to my bedroom. We've got this cute little corner. It's kind of like a little remembrance corner. So I've got my little spudgy thing here and I think about my dad and stuff. So it's a nice little area. And I have this traditional place for cooking um, Japanese food. These hearths are very traditional. I've had them a couple times in Japan when you go up to like um, an onsen up north, like an Akita and stuff. And I have a rice cooker. <laughs> it really works. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> 
It's wonderful, right? Hi, Cat Cass. Oh, hi, Dennis Who. Oh, hello, Wandering Fine. Seems like a whole bunch of people um, suddenly just showed up at the same time. Luke Smith, Aya, yeah, a Martina stream while I'm working from home, perfect and cozy. Yes. Dennis said, what is winter like in Japan versus Canada? Well, Canadian winter, first of all, is extraordinarily snowy. This is my desk that we're gonna trade in. Uh, and it gets cold quite fast. And no, that's not what I wanted. Why did you pick that up? Please place it back again. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, it gets quite snowy and quite, quite cold, like quite fast. Why am I doing this the hard way, y'all? Um, and in Japan, it's really dry. It's so, so, so dry. And when I say it's dry, it's like you have to have a humidifier in your house when you sleep. I have humidifiers everywhere, like little mini ones, because your throat gets dry and you think that in the morning you have a sore throat every day, your skin starts to peel from the dryness. Meanwhile, the summertime is so hot and mushy that you're like wet all the time, you're like a little bit like a dolphin, like slick everywhere. So you're happy that it's cold, uh, cool, I should say. It's like 15 to 10, nine degrees. Translation for Fahrenheit, somebody please. That rhymed, that was an accident. Um, yeah, but so the dryness is definitely the hard part, but I really love it. Here we go. Ooh! Excuse me. Wow! <laughs> this, was a, this was a great e-cycle. Uh, I handed in my rusted computer chip and got this absolutely dope computer station. Are you kidding me? It was better than my computer station. I just use my laptop and plug in an extra monitor. Like, <laughs> this is amazing. Wow, although I do have a up and downy left lift, like a automatic one from Ikea because sometimes you need to stand or else your hip bones are getting too painful. Ah, someone passed by. Prisoning said, hi Martina, I've been watching your videos since EYK in Korea. You've been such an inspiration for me to build my own ladder each day, thank you. Thank you so much for super chatting, that's really lovely of you. It's so amazing that so many people are, you know, um, watching from for so long and you guys have gone through so much of your own things, you know? You've gone through, you know, high school, university, meeting people, having relationships, breaking up relationships, moving to different countries, and it's like we've all kind of experienced this, you know, together, it's pretty crazy. Wow, well this is an amazing, amazing uh, monitor. I love it. So let's go to the walls. And I think that, isn't this clock awesome? I love it. Let's put my scenic painting up. So this is my, my sleeping area over here. I think we could put my scenic painting up here. Also, best song ever. There it is, beautiful wintertime painting. Uh, maybe we should put it in the corner with the, with the food, right? Oh, I could do this. I could do this. What do you think? Oh no, I hate that I can't center this. Look. Ah, it has to be one or the other. I kind of wanted to put it here because it's like fish and cooking. Just, just don't know how to how to put it in the correct location. Maybe over here, so it's like beside the rice cooker. Not how I would normally decorate my bedroom, but. Vininjari says you've been watching for 10 years from middle school to third year college and you're almost done with your degree. That's incredible and good for you for sticking through school. It is not easy. All of us that are pushing our way through or have um, returned to school, which is also really hard. Uh, one of the things about, um, about school is that, and this is what I said when I was a teacher in Canada to my students, I told them it's not just about um, actually like the work and getting the degree and stuff. It's also about learning how to socialize with people and learning how to socialize with people that you don't like. That's a really critical, important part of school. You need to learn how to like be on time and have repercussions so that you learn what it's like to be in an office or work a different job. And, and you need to learn to work with difficult people because difficult people will exist. And then if you, if you think school is only about work exclusively, then you won't learn the like social lessons because people are still people outside of school, right? I think this is too crowded behind the desk, which is why I'm gonna move it. 
this room is uh, just hella crowded in general, but you know what? I don't care. I love it. That's much better. This is my DJ station. Please note my robot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is my favorite song. Um, there's a couple of new ones that uh, I that are really good. I collect all of these, by the way, because I love the music here. This one's really good. It's new. It's very kind of like lo-fi-ish. Jimmy Jam says, I found the presentation skills to be the most useful going to uni. I didn't think I would need that skill in my job and boy, was I wrong. Yeah, there's a lot of things you learn that you don't expect to learn more than just actually reading these things, right? Oh, a lot of people are talking about how they have to change their uh, Halloween decorations up. I know, that's the hardest part, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kagi said, over the years you've taught me in that you can live a full adventure life even as a spoonie. You just gotta listen to your body and know when to rest. Very, very true. So for those of you that are suffering from any kind of chronic illness, whether that be something mental or something physical, you know, it's really easy to take it hard on yourself. That's the weirdest part. It's like, we're so mean to ourselves and we don't get that like, sometimes we just need to rest or we need to say no to like an event or those are the kind of things we need to do. And that can feel really hard. Like you can feel like you're canceling on your friends when you already said yes. And then you go out and you have like a really awful body time, you know, but then you also got to learn that you can't say no all the time or you become like your, your ladder becomes so low because you're inside listening to your own voices. So it's finding that balance really is the hard part. So today this is very ladder building for me because I get to chat with the community and we get to explore my island and be creative. And I love that. But then afterwards, I'm going to make sure I get out of the house and, and see what's happening outside. And I'll make, I was gonna say, I'll peel my eyes open. What an awful phrase, Martina. I'll keep my eyes peeled for build a ladder things like, you know, changes in autumn now going into winter. So maybe there'll be some beautiful red leaves or scrunchy sounds under my feet. And I'll smell the air to see what, if it smells like autumn. And those are things that are gonna make me be grounded and out of my head and not thinking about pain. So yeah, it's really, really important, right? Building up your army of mobility aids so you can adventure more. Yes, exactly. And, and being comfortable with it. It took me a while to be able to walk around with my cane. I felt really like uh, embarrassed and ju judged and you know, people are gonna think this of me or that of me. And then I realized people aren't thinking this or that of you. They're too busy dealing with their own lives. And if they say something to you, you are in the full legitimate right to go, oh, I actually have this condition and I'm sorry you don't understand it. You know, would you like to learn more about it? I love the killing with kindness. Yeah, I've had some situations with sitting in a seat and people being like, you know, you don't look like you're disabled. And it's like, oh, well, I have ehlers danlos Syndrome, you know, um, would you like to know more about it? It's a really rare condition. It doesn't really look visible. You know, um, it's, a, it's genetic. And, and I explain it to them and I'll be like, is there anything else you'd like to know? And they're kind of like, uh. it's easy to kind of be like, F you buddy, you don't know my life. But anger to anger never works well. That's what I find. All right, so this is the area that I'm currently rehauling. So this was a very summery area. I had beautiful like um, sparkle leaves on the ground, very green and very pretty. And I just cleaned them up to have more of an autumn feel. And I put in these holly plants. I've also got a heck of a lot of um, produce to pick so that I can uh, make, make them bales. Haven't visited the shop or the clothing store yet. Isn't this an excellent carpet? It looks exactly like the carpet I used to have that I loved. I brought it back to Canada and it's currently in my mom's basement and uh, my niece and nephew love it. So yeah, the Mrs. in a box, you're too young to be disabled. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll let my body know. <laughs> I don't want to be. <laughs> Hi, Stan Luna. Ugh. Okay. Hiya. I'm going to get up and do a little bit of a stretch because I can hear my joints um, kind of just quick crackling. So let me just get up. Oh, <laughs> I hope you can't hear these. Tanuki. Gah. All right, let's do some, let's do some stretching. All right, hip one. Oh yeah, hip two. Shoulders, arms, fingers. If you have been sitting or looking at the TV and you're slouched or your neck is like this, this is your chance to get up and do some stretching, y'all. This is just like the real Animal Crossing. Oh, what am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? This is crazy, you guys. I should be doing. This. Oh yeah. Yes, it, some people, ugh. 
you've had surgery or they're not as able-bodied to get up, but stretch your neck, stretch your arms. Uh, oh, you have a cat in your lap? You are excused from participating. You need to pet the cat. And also, if you have to go to work or school, you should let them know that you can't make it because there's a cat in your lap. Um, get those wrists going, everybody. Get some stretching. Make sure your neck is not like jammed in. Okay. Yep. I feel like, uh, what is it called? Din -din 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 -din. Is it I, not Ayn? Ayn is the dog. What's the girl's name? Or I shouldn't say girl. She's quite androgynous. So, with, you know, maybe they, them, but from um, Cowboy Bebop. Din -din 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 -din. All right. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Oh, stand, stand uh, sitting on the floor painting my nails. You are also excused. So give yourself a nice um, a neck like that. Oh, Carrie's Cuttlefish, here's to stretching. Get that mobility girl. Thank you so much for super chatting. I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. Um, Carrie's Cuttlefish sent me the most amazing like washi tape and all these little tiny creatures that I have that I put into my garden. Um, and my friends came over once and they were like, what is that? And they, they didn't realize it wasn't a plant because I blended it in with my succulents. Um, if you Google Carrie's Cuttlefish, check out all the stuff that she's making. It's quite, it's quite incredible. Okay. Shorty Day says, I'm a workaholic who wants to do it to do it all, but I've been trying to listen to my body more and rest and not let anxiety take over. Yes, as someone who works extremely hard as well, and I tend to work more than anything else, I try to remind myself that you have one body, you just get one. You get one life and one body. And I need to remind myself that while being successful or doing your job or going to school or meeting with friends is important, you can't do any of that without your one body. So I'm trying to remind myself to stretch a little, to you know, move my neck around. What's five minutes on the ground stretching on my yoga mat? It's nothing, right? I can work longer. So it's kind of like, I try to tell myself these kind of things to, to get it going, right? Kate Hoff 27 says, it's different than chronic illness, but your build the ladder techniques have been helping me get through PTSD. That's really wonderful. Um, build the ladder is not just for chronic illness. You know, it's just a mindset about not being stuck in our own brains because our brains are not telling us the correct things sometimes. That can be from trauma, traumatic experience. It could be from illness and chronic pain, which leads me to go like, you know, I can't go outside or like, you know, the world is scary and it's because your body is in pain and wants you to stay home. It can be from so many different things. So we've got to get out of our heads and we've got to look around the world. It's so, it should be so easy, right? But it's not. So I'm very, very happy that can help you as well. Very, very, very happy. Okay, I think my character has stretched enough. Princess 1010, hello. I'm so glad you enjoy watching the videos. Okay. My three-year-old is very concerned that Animal Crossing Martina's head is going through the table. <laughs> From here, I'm okay. All right, uh, where, where are we gonna go next? I'm gonna show you a tour of the island and then we're gonna figure out uh, what we're gonna do for redoing this and trying to make different heights and stuff. And there's new ones since you last came. So this is my little kotatsu area. If you guys don't know what a kotatsu is, it's a, a Japanese table that the top of it you can see has a, a table on top and then wait wait if I go into handheld camera mode this will be better right if you guys don't know handheld camera mode gets you like super up close and personal isn't this amazing so kotatsu has a blanket um, like a heavy blanket that's underneath the top of a table like a tabletop and underneath that it's being heated and so you tuck your legs underneath the blanket and you stay warm. Cats are drawn to this and on top you've got your tables. You can do your work and drink your tea and do anything and you're basically wrapped inside of a little um, cozy um, heat bomb. It, it's quite amazing. I've always wanted one, always, but I don't think I have enough storage because I have, actually I don't, oh I do have a table. I have a fold out um, Ikea table, but I bought a, um, <laughs> it's over here. I bought a bench to sit on but I use my bench as my table and I also use it as bench. So we'll see one day, maybe, you know, but that's the kotatsu and it's quite amazing. And if you head over here, this is my pink area because I do love pink, even though I always wear black. I just think pink is very nice and cheerful. And we've got another outdoor onsen with a little heater on the side. It looks so beautiful in the winter time. We've got my tiger and the tea set. 
and then this area leads into this is Spudgy's area so this is the little um, I had a dog named Spudgy and he was a very wonderful magical dog that I loved very much and um, this is his little kennel I've given him a little blue and white uh, area here to kind of like represent the Spudgy <laughs> and this Spudgy, Spudgy flag above me there and then if we head over this way we have the shop which I'm still working on trying to change up the floor a bit oh Nacer says great to catch one of your streams Martina hello and welcome Oh, some people really want kotatsus. Moe says they live in Angus, Ontario, and they found $50 grapes from Japan, and my sister and I want to buy them. I hope they'd be worth it. I don't know if they're going to be exactly the same, right? I mean, I hope they would be, but those are kind of like gifts, um, gift grapes, right? So I tried to make a cafe here. I don't love the way it looks. I think it's a bit kind of confusing and messy looking, so I'm considering today rehauling that. I've got this little garden growing, right? So I'm thinking that maybe I move the garden, like I take this part of the garden, I move it, and I create a ground here that's a cafe, and it kind of extends the tatami mats out and so that we kind of have a big space. So that's what I'm thinking about a bit. This is my plan. This is a secret path to uh, another part of the island, which we can take some more from. Hello, Potato Neko. Oh, I can visualize that perfectly, a little round cat. It's so nice. Vigo1205, hi Martina, this is my first stream. Thank you for all the content throughout the years and for telling your EDS story. It helped me get my diagnosis. Heck yes. Zebras, we're everywhere. We're hiding everywhere. Uh, excuse me, what is this amazing looking fortune telling set? I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Yep, if I don't have it, someone else will like it. You're welcome for the, for the 1,000 bells. Uh, a lawn chair. Very cute. I definitely had one of these growing up. Um, if any of you had these chairs before, let me know. But basically, they are straps like this, like thin strips of fabric. And when you sit in them with shorts on or a bathing suit on, it completely presses into your skin. And when you stand up, you are covered pod. And you may not know it because it's your butt and your legs. And so you're like walk around and then your entire legs are just like covered in this like striped pattern. And sometimes it gets pinchy and you get like stuck between them and you're just like, ee! and it like pinches your butt. So um, yes, I'm interested in this lawn chair. And then I can yell at people and tell them to get off my lawn. <laughs> Hello, Priscilla Chi. I'm so glad to catch you live. Yes, I am live. Here I am live. Is this for, what is this? A display stand oh so I can put like stuff on it I guess right I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and get that we haven't even combed my beaches yet we haven't even you know anything like that Charmaine M says hey Martina do you think you'd ever have viewers visit your island on live do you mean like inviting people on like a friend code or something because I am surprisingly not understanding a lot of the way things work. I didn't even know about the dream islands and how they worked for a while. I think I was fo so focused on doing my own, I'm getting an extra shovel because I'm going to destroy my shovel for sure. I was so focused on art, like just kind of sculpting my island. I didn't realize that there was all this stuff and this is my first time ever playing Animal Crossing. So I didn't play the other Animal Crossings before. I, I didn't even know it existed. So. I'm kind of just getting to know Animal Crossing world and I told a really funny story last time that some of you already know but um, my friend invited me over to her island and I had no idea how it worked and so when I was there I had eaten a bunch of oranges and didn't know and she's like oh you can knock on this rock and you can get some like stuff from it and I was like cool and I just smashed the shit out of it I had no idea that when you eat something it makes you stronger and you smash she's like why would you do that and I was like I don't know why and I was so embarrassed Luckily it respawns, but um, I felt pretty bad about it. I felt pretty bad about it. I think I have all the ones that I want. Plus I'm like squinting at them and I can't tell. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm wearing my house slippers outside of the house. How embarrassing. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. And how am I supposed to wear these slippers in the house again now? This is, um, this is bad. Okay, so other people did this too as well. Uh, good. Jack Chance has been here supporting from Canada. Where are you in, from Canada? There's lots of people in Canada, so. 
Laura left. Yes, I recently used one of those chaise lounge type chairs that uh, like to make a shelter for squirrels from the snow. Yes, my mom's backyard became uh, like an insane shelter for uh, squirrels in the wintertime. I bought her like all this new furniture for the backyard and underneath it, they kind of went underneath it when I, in the winter um, when I had left back to Canada, back to Japan. And then the next year when they were taking it all apart to clean it, they just found like all these nests and stuff. So, yep. Okay. <sighs> that was embarrassing, you guys. It's fine, I'm fine now. Okay, so this is the front area. And then when you work your way down here, we're gonna say hi to my neighbors. Um, I designed this area to have like a rainbow of flowers. It took a really long time to do. This is my neighbor that I was really sad that I tried to ignore and I didn't wanna talk to her because I thought that she had this big weird peen um, sticking out of her crotch, but it turns out it was a baby and she's really nice and I feel really bad. I feel really bad about that. <laughs> Here's how I imagine everybody talks, by the way. Yo, Starberry, how you doing, boing? What's the latest? I think you're better at this morning thing than I am, boing. She's like a really nice mom. I don't think I have anything to give you right now, Sylvia, so I will come back, but... Uh, uh, mm, mm, no, we'll have to come back and give her something. Yeah, I felt, pre I felt pretty bad about that. So welcome to my uh, entrance area here. And then as we head this way, we have this excellent area. Yesterday, I accidentally kicked uh, the ground, which caused me to ruin my perfect blanket. So instead of going into design mode to repaint it again, I lazily placed an antique table here. Very, very lazy of me. I will fix that today, okay? Yes, everyone's laughing at me. It is her child. I did not know, okay? <laughs> I did not know. We're gonna head down to the beach so that we can pick up some uh, fragments while we're at it. And I have a question for you guys. Yesterday, I, this area is just like this naturally, so I'm not gonna pick anything up. Oh, this is my best friend. Hi, Tangy. Hey, I was just thinking about you. Kawaii desu Let's talk, Tangski. Guess what? I was playing single player hide and seek and I won. I am so bored. Oh, girl. What's up? Do you want to practice being pop stars together? Okay, so lately I've been craving split pea soup non-stop. But if I had to choose between that and peach nectar, I'd pick peach nectar every time. No joke, it makes awesome chip dip. It's like the dark horse of every potluck spread. Thanks, Tang, you're the best. See you later, girl. Star fragments. I give Tangy all the stuff. I She loves purple, so whenever uh, Torrent Bat said, is Tangy your favorite villager? Tangy is my, my best friend, so she's my favorite in the fact that she's my BFF. Um, Sherb is one of my favorites. He's the sweetest little goat, and he's so, like, lightheaded. Um, but I give him all these different sweaters, and he looks super dapper. I give him a vampire outfit. There he is! I gave him glasses! Look at him! He's so cute! Aren't mornings neat? It's my second time running into you today. The first was in your dreams. Sorry, I wandered in by accident. It's okay, sure, you sweet, adorable little little goat. I'm so sleepy. Anyways, what's going on with you? I'm yelling, it's me! I'm the one yelling! There's no buildings around here, Bum Punch. I can practice yelling as loud as I want to. They call me Bum Punch? It made my, my nephew laugh. Thanks, Sherb. You be you, bud. Uh, so this is Sherb. Uh, he's quite funny, he's adorable. Uh, then I have villagers that are kind of on the sassy side. I have uh, basically Klaus, who is a diva. I love him, didn't like him at first. Um, Kyle, who is basically a failed YouTuber influencer, and he's always going on about how cool he is, but he can't prove it. So I thought that was quite hilarious. Uh, and those are the two sassiest ones. I've lost a bunch of villagers and I've gained some new ones. So I have another uh, very like boxing oriented kangaroo. And um, I have an alligator who I did not like the way he looked, but I thought that was very judgy of me, so I kept him. And he is um, Alfonso, and he loves toys and cute things, so I bring him all these toys and stuff. So that's it. And I don't believe in forcing anyone off the island. This area, what's that, Martina? You have too many flowers? What are you talking about? I am going to today also uh, potentially make this kind of like an upper area, like lift it up a bit and maybe put like a cafe here. I think that would be really, really pretty. That's my plan. 
We'll see if it works. I've done some new things since you guys were last here. So let us go over the bridge. Oh no, a blemish upon the earth. How dare you? I want no more fossils. Ugh. I can't be the only one, right? Who's like real over the fossils. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so this area, let's check for more shards or sharts as I call them. Look, we found ourselves a new shark. This is my little date picnic area. Another shark. In the words of DJ Khalid, another shark. Boom. I can't believe there was a meteor at shower last night. It was so perfect because then I could come around and do this all um, for you guys. It's kind of perfect. Oh, Chelsea Johnson says, your flowers reminded me of the poppy field from Wizard of Oz. True. And when you run around in it trying to like groom it, you just kind of fall asleep because there's just so many things you can't dig them up. You're exhausted and you're just like, when will it end? I just want to go home. More. More sharks everywhere. This place is covered in sharks, you guys. Lazo Lynn, thank you for joining as a YouTube member, as a crewmate. Welcome to the crew. Make sure you check out the community tab uh, for all the posts that you have missed out on. Um, there are many a secret posts and captain's creations, including music and wallpaper and yeah, lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> this is Kyle's house. Uh, I try to make him feel at home with this, this light and like the, I think Kyle's home. He is home. Let's find out. Olivia says, keep a little trash can in your pocket when you're cleaning up flowers to throw them away. It'll save a few trips. That's a brilliant idea, and I will definitely do that uh, before we start cleaning today. Welcome, welcome back for another episode of The Kyle Show. What you doing, buddy? Glad you asked. I'm just making an ironwood bed. The recipe came to me in a, in a dream. Oh, you already know how to make an ironwood bed. I sure do. Well, great minds think alike, don't you think? <laughs> Thing is, I already have the recipe written down, so take it with you and share it with a friend. Everyone deserves a chance to make an ironwood bed designed by yours truly. Like and subscribe, smash that subscribe like button, Kyle's channel. Just think, what if my iron bed became the next DIY craze? You should get a TikTok, bud. You could help start an international phenomenon, yo mama. He calls me yo mama. Cool beans. Thanks, Kyle. Maybe you should work on making that bed for yourself because you sleep on a bunch of cardboard boxes, my friend. Um, as you can see, this is Kyle. He is the failed YouTuber. He has the camera for vlogging, which, which is better than mine. Um, I gave him this vampire costume, which I thought was excellent. He has a piano, and I gave him this super cool music box. Hello, Mia Eterel. And uh, the drum set. Nice. Dude, what happened to your music? He always used to have music in here. Well, anyways, cool hanging out with you. Reflection of the stress of my life if I don't make it as a YouTuber. Pouring sweat down the face. Grimmy Boo says, this has got me playing Animal Crossing now. I haven't logged on in ages. My poor neglected island. Yes, I think we go through waves and that's okay. I went through waves where I could not take down my Halloween costumes last year. I was just like, I just can't do it. I was way too stressed out about it and so I didn't. And then I came back um, later on and, and felt much better. So this is the kind of thing that I've been working on now. This kind of like... Um, you know, changing up the levels, and so we have a bit more of a, like a 3D feel. This is the kind of stuff I'm, I'm trying to like, you know, I'm trying to get going with. Because I didn't know that you could do that. I thought I had a, a ladder kit that I made, maybe not. If you bury eight fossils, it won't spawn anymore. I keep them in the back of the island. What? Poyo says, have you designed any of your villagers' homes on the island yet? What? You can design your villagers' homes? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. I did not, I did not, honestly did not know that. Doom, boom, chidum, boom. No, a blight upon the island. I shall smite thee. Ah. 
I think I haven't quite finished the, like I'm so close to getting all the fossils, but I just keep going in and he's like, no nah, man, not enough. And I'm like, ugh. So I just started with this. Uh, also, I'm trying to make like a little cafe out front here. Um, oh, you guys, yesterday nobody had bought this house, but it sold, so I'm gonna get a new villager. Very exciting. Jim Jam, enjoy your Zoom meeting. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. I'm gonna put this up online on YouTube anyways, so if you can't finish it, but you're looking for some chill time, you know, you know where to find me. I think I need to close this a bit because the, the sun is coming in. Hi, Theodore. You gotta go to Paradise Planning. I don't know about all these things. Oh, I made this. Isn't it cute? It's like a cute little autumn fairy portal thing. What's it for? Nothing. Absolutely not. It's just literally cute. Um, that's all that it is. This is Klaus. I don't think he's home right now. Oh, he is home. He's my favorite sassy bear. He often sits on the toilet and I'm always like, hello. And he's just like taking a dump ski and I'm like, cool, cool, cool. And I'll just like sit and read a book. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> ah, welcome back, my BFF. Always a pleasure to have you stop by Cholet de Casse. You ready to hear some classic class drama? All right, buckle up, Sailor Moon. He calls me Sailor Moon. I was going to buy some flowers for a friend, but I didn't want to send the wrong impression, you know. The wrong color or arrangement could be disastrous. It could literally change the course of our friendship. Or not. They're just flowers, right? <laughs> Sometimes I just need to say it out loud to check myself. Very cool story, brah. Yep. He's here to take a dump ski. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Klaus. Let's together, shall we? Just a normal day with me and Klaus. Chilling out on our toilets together. Parfait, one might say. Purple S, thank you for the super chat. The very cute fox emojis. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the fact that real friends poop together. Uh, it's just it's been a it's been a difficult time, you know. When you have uh, medication, you get constipated, so it hasn't been the best of days. Oh, it's perfect. Yes, reading a book together, together for it. Oh my God, look at his little tail. You guys, he's sitting on the bidet. It's really really cute. Klaus is ready for IBS. Maybe Klaus has IBS, because every time I come in, he's on the toilet, so maybe he's struggling. Oh, Klaus, I'm sorry. Yep, that was good. I like to turn his uh, pool on and off, because there's colors. And I'll admit, first I wasn't into Klaus, because he was kind of mean. But then he, there you go. I got him this diffuser, and I've given him that leaf, and um, he has this like golden carbonara pasta crab. I just like to go around and turn everyone's stuff on, don't you? Yeah, IBS, not great. Oh, he is, look at him, he's happy. Oh, look at that face. Oh yeah, you done? You done, buddy? Yo, you wanna chat? I don't blame you, check your butt. <laughs> so what do you do for self-care these days, Sailor Moon? It's important, you know. Me, I just sleep. Klaus needs his beauty rest. Especially on days when I'm training for rock climbing or learning languages. It's exercise. Sorry, I got talked to, carried away talking to myself. I guess that's what I actually do for self-care. Sounds about right. Goodbye, my lovely snobby friend. I hope you, you do okay. See you later, buddy. But days are very good for cleaning your butt. As someone who lives in Japan, we love our bidets. I will never go back to a life without a bidet. Even if I have to move away from Japan, I will get a bidet butt sprayer. It will save all of your lives. Everybody get a bidet. All right, secret path. Apparently we have a, um, a villager, or sorry, like someone on the island today who's staying in the little camping area. Oh yes, another blight upon my island. Oh what? It's a fossil. All right. Oh, everyone's home today. So this is my new villager. I originally had a buff gorilla who called me baby and I didn't like it. And he got replaced with a buff villager um, who has a similar voice. 
Oh no, he's sick. Okay, I'll get him medicine. If I had some medicine, but bet I could lick this dang cold. It's not like I have a stockpile of medicine lying around. I'm gonna try to power through it. All right, buddy. I'm gonna go get you some medicine. You can kick the dirt over your hole to make your shovel last longer. Mrs. In a box, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? Oh, Rizzy, you've been a member for six months. It's your milestone as a crewmate. I'm using my milestone to say, those who bathroom together stay together. Hope you're staying awesome, Martina. <laughs> An excellent toiletry use. Everybody poops. It's a very important message. Thank you for passing that on. Everybody poops and we have to make it not a scary thing because you should not be embarrassed of it. And it sucks when you can't poop or when you poop too much. So you never know what someone's going through, right? Supper time for me. Bye, friends. Goodbye, Tifa. Enjoy your supper time. Uh, let me know what, where you are and what time of day it is right now because we have viewers coming and going. And so I'd love to see where everybody is. And um, yeah, we can see if any of you guys are matching up in different places. All right, so oh, mushrooms. This is the campsite. I've made it look very campy and friendly. Okay, do you guys remember the trauma last time? Last time, there was the cutest little penguin and I really, really wanted him and I couldn't get him and we tried playing that card game and I failed over and over again. So we're gonna see, okay? We're gonna see who this is. Kiriot says it's 9 p.m. in Tennessee. Laurie Loft says it's 8 p.m. In Idaho time, it is 6.57. Uh, in Texas, it's 8 p.m. We got 1 p.m. in Australia. It's 8 p.m. in Texas. Hello from LA. We got San Antonio, Texas. We got Ohio, Washington, 6 p.m. Finland, 4 a.m. 9.57 a.m. in Shanghai, 8 p.m. 3 p.m. New Zealand, Winnipeg here, 8 p.m. Chicago, 8 p.m. California, Missouri. We got Texas. We got Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Chicago, Finland, Tennessee, Colorado, Michigan, Hong Kong. We got Idaho, 1 p.m. Aussie Games, Eastern USA, 2 a.m. in England, 3 a.m. in Denmark, 3 a.m. in Warsaw, 9 p.m. in Ottawa. We got West Coast, USA, 9 p.m. in Toronto. We got Cali, Korea, New Mexico, California, Arkansas, in the house to TDOT, New York City, Australia, Louisiana, Winnipeg, Austin, Texas, San Jose, California. We got BC, Toronto, South Carolina, Montreal, oh, Carolina, Carolina, 3 a.m. in Italy. And then, hi, Martina from Oscar. Seattle, UK, California, Finland, Louisiana, Australia. You guys, Wales, the world. Florida, this is pretty amazing. The world enjoyed the convo about poop. Communities that talk about poop together thrive together. Yorkshire, UK, West Ender in Toronto. Wow, we got lots of people. Puerto Rico, Philadelphia, Kansas. We're going in and this time, I hope it's not another kangaroo. <laughs> I don't need another kangaroo. I have two kangaroos, one with a peen. That terrifies me. Oh, oh, this is very cute. <gasps> very cute. Is this a cow? Hi, are you a resident? Seems like a great place to live. You're so lucky to live here. I know I wanna make the most of my visit. Let's see if she's nice or not. This island's such a good fit for me. It feels almost like I belong here somehow, little one. Do you think it could be true? Sure it could. Now that I think about it, it'd be really hard to leave my home. Sorry, maybe someday though. What, that's what you came here to say? So I've got a fun day. If you win, then you get my diner apron. Wow. She's giving me my old crusty uniform. The dreamer. Not enough people talk about poop, to be fair. I mean that genuinely. People feel shy or worried about talking about any bodily function, but they tell you so much about, you, but they tell so much about your health. It's true. It's really true. And then I think that when we don't talk about it, we feel like ashamed and we don't share it. And then we don't realize that, uh, we really need to watch what's going on because it says something about you. Like when I was really, really stressed out a couple years ago and being in a very anxious state, everything in my body just rushed through me. I wasn't getting any digestion. I wasn't getting any nutrients. And it's because I was in a very heightened stress state constantly. And then you don't get any, any... am I have to press a button? Okay. <laughs> she's just like shuffling forever. So yeah, I think we should talk a little bit more about, uh, about our daily poops. Okay guys, heart, diamond, spade, or club, little one. Heart, diamond, spade, or club? Let's uh, let's get the, let's figure this out. 
Ruff said, were you able to meet up with Chani and Delena when they visited Japan? No, I wasn't, but they were actually friends of mine. So I messaged Chani and was like, you know, oh, can we, are we getting a chance to meet up? But he was actually, by the time I messaged him, he was in Osaka, I think. And I was doing something in Tokyo and we didn't get a chance, but we've met a couple times in Tokyo before. Um, and we've met, yeah, next time I go to Australia, I got to harass them again, but spade, spade, spade. Wow. So many spades, clubs, hearts, club, club. Oh no. Twitch is like club. And then YouTube is like spade. Ah, oh, there's more clubs coming through though now. Okay. Okay. All right. We're doing club. If I don't get this dirty used diner apron, I'll be very disappointed. Oh no! In here! In You know what, Ellie? I'll be honest. It has discouraged me. So I'm gonna be leaving now. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Devastating. It's fine. I did not. I did not want to have a um, a dirty dining apron. I'm gonna take that with me because you guys are saying I can trash things in here, right? Oh wait, I should learn. Oh no. I, okay, right. So I don't need this, right? I've already learned it. So this is what someone was saying to me before, right? I put down the trash can. I didn't know what trash cans were for. Are you kid kidding me right now? I put the trash can down and then I can use it. I did not know this. I literally, I did not know this. Wow. That's amazing. That's totally amazing. That's right, everyone. I see all the earners coming in now. Lately, there's been a lot of uh, memes on um, on uh, Instagram talking about the earner, owner oh, oh, of Australia. I can't quite do it right. Oh, earner. There's this amazing guy who does impressions of like, if Twilight was um, filmed in Australia or New Zealand. And it's, it's quite funny. There's just garbage everywhere. I'm really sorry. I don't know why it's like this. I swear my island is usually much cleaner. This is my summertime area, which needs to be dissummered. And you guys are gonna just uh, enjoy the fact that I have, these are here on purpose. I love the way these weeds look. I think they're beautiful. However, get ready for this. <laughs> it's a little bit out of control. Yeah, but these are my favorite ones because they look so like kind of flippity floppity. Arner, exactly. Mo Moem's got it. Em Emma's got it. Nair. Yeah, exactly. Jules said, do you hang out with Sharla? Um, when I was in Tokyo and I was in Kichijoji before, I would have like Christmas parties or like Halloween parties. And I'd always invite like Sharla and Taylor when she was still here. And Chris came, like Chris abroad and um, John from uh, Only in Japan and like lots of like J vloggers and stuff. But for me personally, I was like not interested in filming it. I wanted it to be a kind of like a safe place where people can just be themselves and not worry about being on camera. Um, and I've talked to her a lot. Like when she went to Korea, I was trying to help her out with vegetarian and vegan foods. I'm pretty sure she used my vet as well for her cats and stuff. Um, but she's up north. So she's up north and I'm in Tokyo. So we don't really get a chance to hang out or anything. Uh, and they also have a different group of friend circles and I have a different group of friend circles too that are not YouTubers. So I have different friend circles that do different things. Uh, some of them don't even know I'm a YouTuber. So that's quite funny if anyone stops me and they're like, why is that person talking to you? I'm like, hey, you're just chatting. Um, but yeah, I have, I have some, a different uh, gr group of friends. Uh, right, we got to get medicine for Rooney. And I wanted to show you my ridiculous field and then let's head to the, let's head to the, but Ray is farting. Museum. This is another new character. Look at him with his strange little. Oh, oh no. You hear his voice? He's like, I felt like coming out and soaking in. Seemed like a good spot as any, squee. Now don't you mind me. I'm just sky gazing. All right, buddy. You do you. This is another one of those again. The secret ladder builds that go up. 
This area is getting out of control again. See, this, this, this is all the summertime layout that I have to kick and clean and just be like, oh no. Tumbling out of bed, hey Martina, oh no. No. <laughs> It's pretty, right? And I made this little waterfall addition, so it seems like a nice kind of hangout spot. Let's go check out on Alfonso, who I imagine having an Italian accent, likely because of his name. That's what I'm guessing. Um, fire drops, is he a little ninja thief? That's what I feel. Oh, he's cooking something. Are you here? Cause you smell something yummy. Cause I'm making a something yummy. I can't do an Italian accent, so we're gonna stop. Guess what I'm making? Some pretzels. And the best part, you can make them all you want. Once you know the recipe. I know, take out the recipe. Then we'll be able to fill up ourselves a full of deliciousness, it's a me. He is definitely Italian, who says it's a me? Mario does. Yay, now I'm a super excited to try your pretzels. Am I just imagining all of those flavors you're gonna pack into it? Mm-hmm. So good, it's a me. Thank you for that, that was great. Um, I apologize if anyone has taken deep offense to my Italian accent. I will not do it again if that's the case. I definitely tried my best. I'm that eyelash douche. Love that name. Eyelash douche asks, what inspires you for decorating your island? I like sparkly lights and light happy things that are intriguing. I don't want mine to become like a town or a city because I live in one and a lot of us live in them and I don't think my island needs to look that way. So I try to make it um, whimsical and interesting for exploring and that's usually what inspires me. And I love like, yeah, fairy and cottage core, but I'm not actually sticking to the proper methods, I think. It's just kind of like the Martina methods, you know? Vigo says, is it okay if we stop you and say hi if we meet you in Tokyo? I know some people aren't happy when people interrupt their day-to-day -day life. Oh, it doesn't bother me at all. It's actually quite, it's quite exciting to meet people offline because you see people writing online, but you don't actually know if they're real or if it's your mom on like seven computers being like, yeah, hi. Uh, so it's really nice to meet people in person and actually chat with them face to face. Uh, and uh, the only time it can be difficult is like when you're in a rush to go somewhere and everyone's quite good. Like I've met people on the train before and I was like, I'm really sorry, but I'm trying to catch my connection to go to like physio. And they're like, okay, no problem. So nobody's been, you know, like mean or creepy or weird or anything like that. So please definitely say hi. I mean, if I do something embarrassing, don't come say hi. Don't let me know that you saw me. <laughs> if I like slip and fall down and my skirt goes upside down over my head. And then you're like, hi, Martina. Just pretend that didn't happen. Pretend that didn't happen. This is Rizzo's house, and Rizzo's house looks like ancient Japan or China, and he's done something amazing in it, so I do think he might be some kind of a ninja. This whole area I need to kick clean. Uh, I have to change all of this for autumn time. If anyone knows if there's a faster way to do this, let me know. I don't want to replace it, because I know you can replace it, because I want to use this for next year. I really love this in the summertime, it's like this kind of um, fairy pattern, you know? Malvin. Hi mom, these are my friends from the computer. Actually, uh, on the weekend, I'm going to be meeting um, four or five people who I've met through Discord. They're coming to Japan and I'm meeting them for the first time. We're having a little like Izakaya night out, so I'm very, very excited. So I am seeing people who are off the internet. Martina, you don't have to kick change the pathway. You can just overwrite the path and it changed by itself. Yes, but that was my worry is that then the path will be gone and I won't have it anymore, right? Exactly. Nancy Hong says, time to put my kid to bed. Could you please say good night? Good night to Ji Ho. Good night, Ji Ho. Hope I said your name correctly. Have a good night. Um, the, the Hangul is so small on my screen. So I'm like, I'm squinting to see it, but I'm pretty sure it says Ji Ho. Yes. This is Martina's upper area. It's um, very, very whimsical. And um, I love all the little holes. And I put some, lots of pink stuff here. This is where I jam out. Got my little electronics board. I got my, my drum kit. And I've got my synth and my robot. Do it, buddy.
right? Come on. This is my jam out sesh area. I quite like it. Um, that was me just enjoying a little bit. Where's Hacker Woman? I miss her. I feel like this is Hacker, I've dressed up like Hacker Woman here actually. When is the album dropping? Oh, well, you know, whenever Nintendo gives me clearance for using all their songs. So then never. Malhan said there's a King Kogi Discord. There is a King Kogi Discord. Um, however, I am meeting with people from a different Discord. So, because I'm on different Discords. So yes. Uh, Curb says, hey Martina, how often do you tend to stream? Not actually that often, maybe once a month or so. I'm just quite busy doing other videos and editing and stuff like that. So I don't get the chance to stream as much as I'd like to, but I play with my island in between that. Uh, and then I'm like, hey guys, look what, look what I freaking did. So, oh, these are all getting out of control. I need to come back and prune. Prune, prune, prune. This is new. This is a new addition. So I'm working on making a Christmas corner. So I want this to be all like snowy, which is gonna happen and have all this like little red, red themes and green themes. And up top, I'm gonna try to make it like more and more Christmassy. So this kind of area up top here. And I'm thinking of moving these trees and expanding uh, this walkway kind of like out here and then creating a kind of like Christmas cafe or something like that. So Kenya says, this is my first time literally seeing Animal Crossing. I've heard of it, but never took the time to look it up. It's so cute. Yeah, I think what a lot of people don't know about Animal Crossing is you start with a totally blank slate. So every flower you have to like plant and, and nurture it and then they, they grow. And then if they're close by another flower, they can change color and you can get another flower. So nothing's easy um, and everything is within real time. So it's a very soothing, do what you want game. Some people love to fish. They spend all day catching fish. Some people prefer to decorate. Some people want to get like into a city. They want to make there's a city. So if there's something for everybody, you can design clothing. You can do so many different things, right? To be 324, enjoying my Saxoma phone. Goodbye, Vigo. Thank you for joining the stream. As I said, I'll post this up online so that you can take a look at the rest of it later on if you'd like to. Uh, but next week, I'm going to be doing um, a live stream, definitely. Let's check out the Able Sisters and see what they have in my side. Oh, Kathleen's making a cafe right now. What up, gals, my favorite? I will take a look around, in fact. Hi, Sable. The bell tells me you've been helping her out, modeling outfits and such. It means a lot to all of us that you do so much for our little family. Thanks so much, Starberry. No problem, girl, you're the best. Look at you working so hard. Look at you work, work. Work girl, you're amazing. Look how creative you are. Getting the shop going from nothing. Uh, you hedgehog sisters are the best. All right, that was good. Oh, welcome to my designs. What that? It's a huge dog face. It's spudgy. And I made this sweater, which you can't tell. It's quite cool. It's an onigiri on the back. <laughs> Mookie, finally catching a live stream. Hi, Martina, hope you're doing well. I'm doing quite well. I've been very, very busy and quite uh, exhausted as of late. So I haven't been posting a lot on Instagram and on YouTube, but Tokyo Tours is filmed. Uh, it's in the editing process. I'm gonna be doing voiceover this week, uh, depending on uh, Dan and our editing schedule, how it comes together. Then I do the voiceover and then we kind of put the rest together, pick up music, all that stuff. And then the week after that, I'll be doing another live stream um, on Animal Crossing. And I will also be going to Osaka afterwards to film the year's end uh, Tokyo Tours, an Osaka special edition. Oh, shaka my bars. Okay, I have these what is it? Custom designs that I got today from visiting the East Cycle Island. So if you didn't join the beginning of the stream, um, I went to this incredible island. This stream was sponsored by Intel and Dell. They have doing this e-cycling island that they've made so you can put your rusty parts in and exchange it for something new. I'm gonna be doing another stream sponsored by them so you'll get a chance to visit that island with me if you haven't seen it before. But this is the clothing that we got. All this stuff is, oh, this is my weird uh, Onigiri one. And I have a, I have some demon slayer outfits and stuff. But this is chippy. This is so cute. Oh, dang it. All right. Well, let's just go uh, check inside what we got in, in my thing. And I can't, I can't put anything in my pocket. So, yes. All right. Here we go. The 13th hour said, I love your Tokyo tours. They just hit the spot for me. That's really wonderful to hear. I really wanted something that was the stuff that I do. Um, whoa, 
Look at these amazing jackets. That's a yes. What is this, like, host club day going on here? What? Look at this. I already have these, but, like, this jacket is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, pleather skirts. I definitely already have a pleather skirt. And I have a sailor skirt. I have all these things. Oh, but do I have a Kandora? I love how they have all these different cultures. There's too much to choose from today. I already have a mage's robe though, so I don't need another mage's robe, do I? Wow. Did you want a crown for a million? One million bells. Now, I have this cycling cap already, actually. I really like the cycling cap styles. And I already have these made hats as well. So I already have these. Ah, masquerade masks. Okay, so I think I have pretty much all these things. Oh, I have the Zori sandals as well. They're so cute. Although, they make a different sound, by the way. They go like, right? Thank you, Brianna. Hell yeah, congrats on the sponsors. Heck yes. Working my butt ski off, you guys. My butt falls off and I'm like, no. Okay, I think I have to get one of these. I'm gonna get the floral jacket only because I do have a bunch of different kinds of waistcoats and I do love these, uh, but I've never seen this before. I think it's quite cool looking. It would be good It would be good if they had that was like a Christmassy kind, but we're gonna get this. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Martina, can you please make a crawd pattern? That's hilarious. I should definitely just make it and just says crawd on it. That is so brilliant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Mabel. You the best. Thank you, you. Okay, I'm off. I will come again. This pathway, we're now turning purple. This is Tangy's house and she wants to be a superstar. So I've tried to make her house as cute as possible. I didn't know you could decorate the inside, but I got her this really nice, awesome little Betty machine. I did purple and white themes, a purple bear with a purple shirt on that I had and a little picnic and another purple bear, purple fences. And she's got this cute little purple area over here. Oh, did not mean to hop all the way over here. Um, so yeah, this is Tangy's little area, which I thought was super cute. And then we're heading to the back of my house now. Also, these are, are not true. My friend was like, oh, do you want these like plants. I was like, they're so pretty. I love Lily the Valley. I had no idea that they meant that it was a five-star island. And so I feel a little bit um, like I'm cheating the system because it definitely shouldn't have done that, you know. But anyways, I have them now. There's nothing else we can do. Okay, we've come full circle. Uh, that was my little island so far. And now, oh no, my pockets are full for sure. Dang it. I'm going to swap it, open it up, and then get rid of this massive collection of stuff that I don't need. What have we got inside of this message bottle? We've got a wooden bookshelf. Great. That was awesome. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. One thing I wish you could do in Animal Crossing was like turn in the middle of what you're doing. Should I use this? Yeah, I'm going to toss them something all right. I'm going to toss this. And that's it, because everything else I'm going to exchange in. Just that, actually. Yeah, Jules was saying that there's a crowd stickers in a Broad in Japan's diner, diner set. Yeah, somebody told me um, about uh, the this crowd sticker, and I went to see it. And I think that it's because it's designed off of um, all the stuff that you see downtown. I don't know if he knows about it because he lives up north and so it's not something that I think would be in up north. Maybe he does. Next time I chat with him I'll be like, crawd damn it and see if he knows. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a really well done detail to, to make the set look real as the people who made it. <gasps> Jennifer Beck, don't forget the medicine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're totally right. Shorty Day said, Twitch kicked me out of the stream. Mm, what? Yeah, that's weird because it looked like at one point everybody just kind of stopped talking. And I was like, 
that's really weird. I hope everyone's okay. And I think probably because people got um, kicked out of the stream. That's my general guess. Oh, right, right. Completely forgot that I need to dump some stuff off. Lazo Lin says, Martina, you're seriously making my heart smile so big. I'm fighting major depression. This time of year does not help. And you always help bring in some light to my day. So much love to you. Thank you so much, Lazlo. Yeah, wintertime, darkness, all of this is really tough. It's a really tough time of year. I'm happy to bring any kind of sunshine to you by talking about pooping with my bear on the internet. And I was saying to everybody after this, I'm gonna head outside and go for a stroll and build myself a nice ladder. But first, I must exchange my sin dollar calories corals and sea snails for sweet, sweet bells. I think I have some stuff to um, dump off as well, don't I? Keeping the mushrooms for DIYs and for cooking. Uh, I think that's it. Yes, just this today, boys. Yes, uh, Anna, Karad is definitely a graffiti artist in Japan. I got a couple of links from people talking about it. And then afterwards, um, I went on to Instagram and I found a bunch of accounts that are graffiti artists in Japan, but you have to follow them, they're private. So I, I friend requested them. And then after like a week or so, I got a request back. So now I'm following kind of like a graffiti account that's like showing the graffiti they're doing, which I'm sure is not, it's because it's illegal, right, in, in, uh, in Japan. So that's quite cool, but I still don't know who Karad is. So it's quite interesting. Now, we're gonna go back to my house. Oh my gosh, I forgot to buy the medicine. That was close. Thank you, medicine. Jennifer Beck's like, medicine, and I thought medicine just before that. Animal crodsing. Mm hmm I like that. Here we go. I am curious about what you have today. Medicine. I would like just one, please. It's been a while since my face got mauled by a bunch of wasps. That's what happens in the game, if you were wondering. All right, toodaloo, you guys. I have Timmy and Tommy as tiny miniatures and they are in my kitchen getting drunk with Tom Nook. Um, I thought that they needed some time off. They seem to work all the time and I made them a little tiny, you know. Annyeong haseyo from Hey Sun Jung, hello. If you're in Korea, hello. If you're not in Korea, hello. <laughs> I remember the medicine. Okay, I'm taking some stuff back to the house putting it away, then I'm gonna go give the medicine. Yes. <gasps> Tumbling out of bed said I saw Crawd written in Sharpies on a bus a few weeks ago. It's gone worldwide. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Something's definitely happening. Maybe this is the next Binks key all. Okay, we're gonna put this into storage until I use it next. And my lawn chair I'm gonna put out. This needs to go in my bedroom, but I'll do it later. Cartoon is set in storage. I'm gonna give that to someone. My book stand into storage. Oh, this is new. I'll figure it out later. Garbage pail we're keeping, as everyone reminded me. Maxi shirt dress we're gonna put in storage because I'm already rocking this ridiculously awesome rose thingy. Fortune teller set, storage. Mushrooms, let's go dump them off in the kitchen with the rest of the mushrooms. Uh, Arkin TW said, this reminds me, I asked Chris Broad if he had any crowd stickers in his new set and he just said, I ain't hip and don't know what that is. Yes, it's not that he's not hip, it's that it's not, it's very weirdly niche, that's why. There's nothing, nothing not hip about you, Chris. Uh, I just am a strange, over observe kind of person. So it's not about not being hip, it's about being odd. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm slightly odd. Okay. Now we're gonna dump, wait, maybe I can make something. Let's see if I can make mushroom pie. Ooh, pretzels. No, I can't make mushroom pie. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna drop these. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna just drop this. Yes, I am just dropping mushrooms all over my kitchen. Oh my gosh, I forgot to sell that. What the, snuck in there. These are currently elegant mushrooms. These are in uh, Japan right now. This is the season for them. Very expensive and uh, quite delicious. 
Can you saute them with some like butter and shoyu, soy sauce? Yummy. Ooh, I'm gonna put these in storage for now. And next stream, I'm gonna trade them in. I only traded in one thing, but like maybe, oh no, sexy bots. All right, uh, hide user on the channel. Listen up, sexy bots. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah, not you guys. Birmingham is an amazing city for graffiti in England. I should keep my eyes out for some crowd stickers. Definitely. Uh, I'm sure that when they travel overseas, they kind of like, you know, want to make their mark. So why wouldn't they leave their stickers? Plus, you can leave graffiti in different parts of the world, but in Japan, it's definitely uh, risky. I left one King Kogi sticker at one location um, because they had a sticker wall that they made. And I was like, okay, I'm comfortable doing this. Um, but other than that, I would never put it on a poll personally because I like living here and I don't want to be, there are some foreigners that visited like graffiti artists and they got caught on CCTV camera doing it. And like, they're going to be in huge trouble if they ever find them. So yeah, put this in storage. Okay. This is for our friend. I'm going to bring these to blathers. Love lawn chairs going out. Baked potato was for strength because I might be knocking down a lot of stuff today and garbage pails for dumping off flowers, right? We're ready to go. Andrew Turner says, hope you're able to do more of these, Martina. Just had a late dinner and need to wash up and hit Betty Bye here in Alberta, Canada. Glad to see you live and having fun. Much love to you. Thank you very much. All right, we can leave my little dude who's just going for it here. He's like, yeah, I'm going to the beat of my own drum. Do it, buddy. Go to the beat of your own drum. Yeah, yeah, look at him go. He's loving it. Mm -hmm. uh, you may not go to jail for, for graffiti, but you will be major, major charged. So you don't want to be messing around with that kind of thing. Um, I mean, you could go to jail, I'm sure, depending. But yeah, just do not want to mess around uh, with graffiti in Japan. But I've given my King Kogi sticker to, I have like a thick holographic sticker that I've made and I have no idea how to send it out to you guys because I don't know how to ship all this stuff depending on the world and everything with COVID shut down the mail system in Japan and ah, but anyhow, I have this giant amount. I give them out to people who I'm getting to know and some of them have put it on their storefronts for me. So when they close it, there's like a King Kogi sticker. I thought that was very cool. I did not ask them to do that, but I thought that was really wonderful. So there could be pigs all over the city soon. Not just any pig. King Kogi. Hiding over there. <laughs> All right, we are heading on over uh, to see. This is Sherb's house, by the way. Isn't it cute? I put little windmills outside and a little Sherb on the ground because he's such a lovely little goat. He is a goat. A little sand garden. And welcome to the museum. Let's go bother Blathers. He is asleep. Good night, Rebecca. Bedtime for you in the East Coast, USA. First, to do what I normally do, which is stand behind Blathers and take a photo every time of looking threatening while he's sleeping. This is just tradition. I think it's really important to do. Just so he knows that I'm here uh, when he sleeps. All right, uh, now that I've done that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Starberry. Welcome to the Eaton Tommy Museum. How may I be of service? I'd like you to assess these frickin' fossils. Ooh. What would you like me to assess? I'm all of flutter. Well, there's this, there's that, there's these, there's those, and apparently you can't dirty your feathers and come out and find them for yourself, but they're everywhere, y'all. Ooh, more than one I see. Let us take a closer work, shall we? Yes, indeed, quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these. I am indeed tempted to purchase these for my personal collection, but no, I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. Might I help you with anything else? No, my dear Blathers, back to sleep for you. I'm jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. I shall visit again another time. I love Blathers. I have a tiny Blathers in my garden. He's so amazing.
Ben says, hi, my name is Ben and I'm from Wisconsin Salem. I accidentally walked back in, which I did not plan to do. And then it scrolled away forever. Ben, I'm playing Animal Crossing. Um, I think I read what you said, but it, d it disappeared. Oh, uh, my butt, my hips, my back. Okay, there's Sherb Ski. Hey, Sherb, we are heading over to see my friend who is not in good shape right now. That's what we're going to do. No, more blights upon the island. I love the rivers, but it annoys me that you can't get across them, so I decided to build all these tiny, like, mini platforms. Here we go. There he is. Hey, bud. My stomach hurts, my head hurts, my limbs hurt. Godzilla! Everything hurts. Here's some medicine. I'm really grateful for this, kiddo. Thank you. There you go. Oh, I feel like I'm getting better already. I feel better than ever. That medicine was a miracle cure. Godzilla! I got a little something for you. Go on, it ain't much. Just a guide shirt. Thanks, Rooney. I totally love it. Godzilla! That might have been too generous, even for me. Oh, uh, well, you deserve it. I love your old crusty guide shirt. Thanks. Julie said, hope I'm not too late to pull up my Switch and play along. I'm gonna stream for a little longer. It's uh, coming up to three hours and my hips and my butt hurt. So that's the big, the big problem is uh, more specifically my body. Let's check out what he got me. I already have this. To be honest, it's not that bad. Uh, it kind of matches what I'm wearing, um, but I do already have a guide shirt. So I will give that guide shirt to somebody else. Now, we go sell these. Whee! Do you guys uh, have a Godzilla on your island? If I can get back to him, I'll show you what he does. No, I can't. I've locked myself out of my own Godzilla. Secret ladder. <gasps> I found a Tom Nook Christmas ornament at Hot Topic lately and was so cute. Oh my gosh, Nightly. I am so jealous of Hot Topic in the USA and Canada. Hot Topic has more stuff than I can get in Japan related to Japan. I see Sailor Moon stuff. I see Animal Crossing stuff. It's just really not fair how much cute stuff they have there. I swear. I heard a balloon. Did anyone else hear a balloon? Is this just the paranoia you get? Maybe not. Oh, so cute, a Tom Nook. Uh, wings uh, happened in Animal Crossing during, I think, Halloween-ish times, and I bought it, and now sometimes I just wear wings because why not? Okay, we're heading back to the store to sell this stuff, and then we might have to continue this on another Animal Crossing because my, my butt hurts. My butt hurts so much. Huh, must adjust the butt. Hey guys, I'm back again. It's, it's a, it's a, Jagger says, I was wondering how you're sitting for so long. I left the stream five minutes after you started and surprised you're still at it. I did have a stretch sesh. I got up and I did um, a stretch session, so that was good for me, but I'm reaching a, a maximum butt capacity. All right, you can have all these T-Rex tails that apparently people like. Oh, my grand plans to decorate, thwarted by my butt. I will accept your generous offer of 18,000 bells. I will come again, thank you. Yes, Kinzi Sakura, Animal Crossing is so wholesome. It's wholesome and just really comforting. You know, sometimes you do get anxious, like when you're like, oh my God, my island's not ready and you've got Halloween decorations up. Like my plan for today was to move all this over to make like a cafe space. Um, so maybe what I could do is get started on um, digging up some of the stuff and then I could uh, just start dragging everything. Well, cause I need to pave the ground here, but I am hungry as well. I am uh, real life hungry. What to do? Might have to call it quits for today. Otherwise I will really be pushing my body. All right, yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna go put her in PJs, tuck her into bed, and then I should be live streaming again. Um, 21st, I think I'm doing it. Let me just check, because I'm trying to put a Tokyo Tours in, uh, in between. So I gotta work on that beforehand. But let's see. Yeah, so on the 22nd in Japan, 9 a.m., so it's the same time, I'm gonna be doing another live stream of Animal Crossing. And if, for those of you who missed the East Cycle Island, I'm gonna go back again and I'm gonna explore the basement. And this time I'm gonna go wearing a shirt that's all like cute and techy. And I had six pieces of rusted um, chips that I didn't that I didn't exchange because I didn't want to be greedy. I just exchanged one, but maybe they'll let me exchange more than one. So if it's my last chance to visit this island, I am definitely going to be like, hey, here's another one, and and see if if I can exchange it for more than one because I got a, a gaming computer, but maybe this rusted chip will be turned into like a laptop or something. So I'll try it out. If you would like to visit the East Cycle Island, check the info box for the dream code as well as Nookazon, where you can exchange your rusted chips and get something else um, e-cycled. And thank you again so much to Dell and Intel for sponsoring the stream. It was so nice to be able to visit this well-constructed island to get out the message of e-cycling for people and also to share this time with you guys because it's been almost like three hours of enjoyable live streaming. Um, but yeah, so the 22nd at 9 a.m. for me in Japan time, Time zone converting. It's usually the 21st in the evening for a lot of you, depending on where you are, but I'll put out messages about it in advance anyways. Now we gotta change. And we gotta um, put her to sleep for a nap, for her old afternoon nap. Can't be hanging around in boots in your house. All right, comfy nap time clothing. Let's see. This is just an afternoon nap as opposed to like staying in bed for the whole time. So maybe like a big hoodie. Ooh, that's so cozy, isn't it? I'm just gonna put my casual magical dress. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, a pajama dress. Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna put on my hoodie. I love a good baggy hoodie. Yeah, that looks really comfy. A baggy hoodie and Yup, that feels nice. I think I would sleep really well. I'm gonna take my contacts out and put my glasses back on because you do not want to sleep with contacts. They adhere to your eyeballs and then you wake up and they go, <clears throat> it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, got some socks, comfy shacks, and some house slippers. Uh, that's looking pretty cute, right? Hi, cream cheese, AKA Lauren D. All right, we are tucking her into bed. She's having a rest just like I am. I'm gonna get some ice. I'm gonna ice these joints. I'm gonna ice my fingers. I think they're okay, but like, this is a compression glove, but you can see like my hand gets quite um, swollen. It gets swole, if you will. Thank you. So this is the desk I got from the uh, e-cycle exchange, which is amazing. All right, it's lights out and away I go. Should I get some sleep? I'm just gonna lie down. Yes. Woo! Big Martina. Oh my gosh, the light here, my hair. This looks like mo morning face Martina over here. Anyways, um, thank you guys, everybody, so much for, for joining for this live stream. Um, sorry if you're just entering in now. Cozy KK, thanks for joining as a passenger. Please check out the community tab. Uh, I had a really excellent time streaming with everybody. Some good conversations. Um, Angel Vincent, what date is in Japan? Today is Wednesday, November 16th, and it's 11.40 a.m. So I'm pretty hungry because I got up at like 7 a.m. to make sure I could set everything up. So I'm, I'm pretty hungry. Thanks again to Intel and Dell for sponsoring. Please check the info box again for lots of links. And I will see you on the 22nd or the 21st uh, for another live stream where we will get more e-cycle stuff done. And I will publish this to the YouTube channel. Otherwise, uh, have a good night, everybody, and or a good day. Thank you so much for all the excellent chats, uh, super chats, and joining as a member. And um, don't forget to go build that ladder. After I ice up, I'm going to go for a walk and build my ladder outside and post it with some pretty pictures on Instagram. Good night, everybody.
Enough to tempt me. 